What? What? Hello? What? Hello out there? Hello. Hello? Hello, everybody. Welcome to WBPL 76. This is the first annual Van Zag Mech Fight and Corn Dog Extravaganza host, uh, sponsored by Bubba, Bubba J's Mechoplex and Corn Dogs. Hosted by Exemplus and myself. And with us today is the mayor of the auxiliary, Mad Ducks himself, and Bubba J's uh, voice person. Hello. Howdy, y'all. Yes, yeah, so we wanted to take a moment to thank Bubba Jays uh, for sponsoring 1.7 kilo. Uh, what is it? 1.7 tons. 1.7 tons. Math is hard. It's early. But yeah, thanks everybody for joining us. Um, this uh, this is the Mega Mech Grand Tournament that started as a shit post two and a half weeks ago, and is now here we are. So interesting to see. Um, so I was just going to kind of recap what's going on what we're doing and what they're doing. So we have 31 teams of two people each for a total of 62 people. These were seeded into 17 matches with one bye. We had a few rules. So it is a 3,000 battle value limit per team. So maximum per, per two team. units. Um, Solaris style, so small map, short engagement ring, uh, Mexican tanks only, and no like, no hating other people's fun. So we uh, we disabled things like artillery and very quick VTOLs with AC2s. And dropships so, under 3k value. value. Right, because apparently you can take a dropship for under 3,000 battle value. Luckily, we totally sorted out the rules and everyone read every one of them, so no one had any mistakes at all during this whole setup. No, of so, course not. Of course not. Here we are. We're going to move right into the first round. We're going to bring up, if you want to go grab text, we're going to go, yeah, we're no, going to bring up text to have a few words before we kick off. Um, the current match setup is Team Grumpy Bear. Oh, sorry. Team Grumpy, no, Grumpy Viking, Viking versus who? Versus the Hungry Chairbenders. The Hungry Chairbenders. Did you just say I'm on and then leave the channel? Yeah. That's, yeah. How, that's how professional we are. Thanks. Thanks for coming up, Tex. Hey, give a, give a right. couple good words out to the people out there. <laughs> you must expect the unexpected in the kingdom of madness. I'm the tower of power too sweet to be sour. 10,000 years as intercontinental champion. Oh, yeah. The madness is running wild. Snap into a slim gym. We're in space and space is the place. It's just beautiful. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. At any rate, I'll get back to my channel. Glory to the Legion. Glory to the Ox and the Legion. All right. Take care. All right. Now I that mean, that's out of the way. So I mean, I'm ready for violence now. We all are. So our contenders today, of course, as you can imagine, um, it is Tiang Angry Viking, which is Tex and Sir Hap, versus the Angry the Hungry Chairbenders, which is Wasp and Whirlin. Some of you may not know, Whirlin actually did beta testing for Mega Mech, so he's gonna be uh, he's gonna be a tough one to beat today. And Wasp is no pushover either. A lot of That's history in right. BattleTech. And of course, Tex might have known something about BattleTech. We're unsure. Uh, we heard something about a talk somewhere, but we haven't looked into it yet. And Hat, of course, is of Canium, leader of another community where we consider a brother community and gaming community called Canium. They have uh, they're most known for destroying the Oxen BPL in Command Carrier 2 a few times in a row and winning the chess tournament last time we had it. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> there he is. So before we get going, there's one more thing I want to say. Okay. Don't shoot the corn dog truck. Don't shoot it. Let's have all the corn dogs. Yeah, we should, don't seventeen hundred kilos. Kilos? I don't Kilo? know. Yeah, something like that. Anyways, we're gonna jump right into the battle. I think everyone's readied up except I think Hat. So hopefully Hat's there and he's done. So here we go. Hopefully, Game one, hopefully they one. did uh, choose their starting locations, because I didn't double check just now. Rip. We are professionals, folks. Hell yeah, brothers. Welcome to the randomly generated three-time maps by Whirlin win the flip coin. And then I believe our, our grumpy Vikings are going to be starting north. Let's begin the... All right, you're going to have to next, because you hit GM. Oops. <laughs> I did. All right, so we're starting with... Hats, unfortunately, Hat and Tex did not win the initiative, so they will be deploying first. He 
He's been very busy buying every corn now. <laughs> Looks like they're a little... I like the camo he's got going. It's a pretty good camo. Corn dog truck enters the field. With Thorn Dog Truck is on. Let me get put a little background music on. Thanks, Epidemic Sound. Welcome, everybody, to ASMR time with Mega Mac. Hey there. ASMR Zemplus is my default mode. Because usually when I'm on, I am, everyone else in the house is sleeping, so I have to be very quiet. But not today. Today is the day. More residents misunderstood the brief and created hot dogs shaped art with corn cones. Oh no. All right, the deployment is out. We're going into the first round. Seems as if team one attacks one's initiative. And you'll have to hit next every time, example. I'm on it. Is now. Wasp turn to move first round. And thank you for the subscription there. Ron Brominstein. 23 months, dude. We have our two year badge being worked on. We decided to go with throwing on some cowboy boots on the bottom of the pants. Nice. It's just easy. And we've been we're a little bit behind. <laughs> All right. The Arctic Fox is moving up uh, and Wasp is running a dual Arctic Fox build, one with jumpers, one without jumpers. Light PPCs and ER mediums and a and a medium and small pulse boat. Tex has a lot of ground to cover to bring his chargers into effective range. We'll see how he fares. He's got a lot of difficult terrain in front of him. Orland's rocking a his hunch he's rocking actually classic canonical mechs, the trebuchet. Man, the pop-up is so slow. The Trebuchet TBT-N5N and the Hunchback 4H. Will be now these up. are these are maybe old models, but they are very advantageous in the way that they don't have a lot of crit slots. So oh, yeah. they're generally just empty inside, so they're very durable. Yeah, unless you get a good shot on some kind of level of ammo, those things will just take hits until they're dead. And they won't blow up on side torsos, they won't explode out random important structure Those bad boys are like a timex watch all right we got the loki and the toborg walking up inside some trees in a little bit of a ravine we got the chargers moving up past some trees a little bit slow probably not i guess when it's coming to the speedy boys they have to have a little speed off by the way these are custom charger man oh they have jump jets interesting that's gonna come up TSM, small pulse lasers, three jumpers. These are solid. Yeah, he's running he gets into range. 10 small pulse lasers. An interesting move by Toborg. He seems to be backing up. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure about that one. Maybe At it's a some, strategy. Maybe it's a strategy. At some point, somebody is going to say great back charge. Oh, yeah, Even if sure. I have to do it myself. Oh, for sure. I don't understand. Can you, what is strategy? Uh, never strategy heard is run forward, bang bang, and scream. The DF <laughs> he did he DF he did DFA me in his scrimmage recently. So the the DFA charger is a, is real and it can hurt you. <laughs> yeah. Merlin's deciding where the fire if there is any firing lines at the moment. There's our Bubba J corn dog truck. Ooh, he's getting an AC-10 shot out for... He needs 11, so that'll be a hell of a hit. If it hits, it might crit. Can you fire weapons and be late? Of course you can. And he's I got mean, enough ammo to fire that bad boy every turn. There is a... Uh, there's a minimum rage on some weapons, so point blank isn't the greatest. You don't want to use your arms if you plan on punching. But other than that, yeah, my turn to fire. I start shooting off some corn dogs to the crowd. Corn dog <laughs> artillery. It's like a t-shirt cannon, but it goes in your mouth. And it might hurt you, so any damage you... That's why you no, signed you the signed waiver before waiver. you came yep, in. you signed the waiver. 
If you're here, you sign the waiver. That's we, right. We, we made parachutes out of paper towels. It's it's probably fine. It's probably safe. We we didn't test it, but it's okay. Well, we had to get you a napkin too. We were yeah. being kind. So we wanted the pilots all to have the corn dogs, but they didn't have any napkins. So we replaced their parachutes from ejection with just the the you know something you can wipe your face with because parachute Absolutely. material is not great. All right, first volley from Hat and Whirling go wide. Unfortunately, not everything's at max range there. Moving into the second round. No heat across anybody? None. And wow, they spun out. Okay, team two wins initiative this round. So team Grumpy Viking will be making their moves first. I bet you the lighter charger is going to go wide. Well, Tex brings his dark charger down the down the straight. Still no idea what Toborg's doing, but maybe he's got a plan. And uh, again, uh, ladies and gents, thank you for joining us. Um, yeah, this is all thanks to all of you weirdos out there. Because uh, Exemplus just wanted to play some battle tech, and I wasn't quite no. fulfilling all of his battle tech needs as a friend every night playing <laughs> battle tech. So he's like, so I want more battle tech. And then everyone else was like, I'll play battle tech. And then there was 32, 31 teams of people playing battle Dude. tech, over 60 people. Across like five countries Seven, and like you, three continents. If you put in everyone who put work into this, which is not saying anything because Exemplus did all the work for this, is uh, there was about 70 <laughs> people that all put effort in some level of shape or form into this whole tournament. And it's on WPL 76. So, hey, what'd you do, bro? <laughs> Don't forget to donate your goop to the, uh, the art. Yeah, if you guys are sitting on any goob and you're not like planning on like forcing a DFA or anything, throw some of that goob you've acquired over the years into the art stream. Lady Red's going to do an amazing group compilation piece of like WPL 76 and ox and figures and stuff. It's going to be huge. It's amazing. The The scope is insane. All right, we're waiting on to tell. There is, by the way, guys, there is a turn timer enabled. And if you do lose your turn to the turn timer, that is legal. There's no do-overs, no backsies, no whatevers. You need to do Partially your turn. because we can't. And also because we're all here and we don't want to be here for seven hours. So if we force it to be under two, there's also a 15 turn limit. Hey, Granite. Mega mech challenge. The two, pi the two clan mechs that Hat uh, is piloting are a Loki and a Jenner 2C. Oh boy. Yes, the contest still has, I think, nine days. The costume contest? I believe so. Some of the submissions are actually really hilarious. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, who was it? Digi. Digi with the shotgun pogo. Yes. That yeah, Digi, Digi Man is amazing. Like he, that, the, the entire cosplay. Okay. That's something I want to ask you about that. You're both here and Mad Ducks, you can give an outsider view. Cause you're, you're pretty uh, just all about fun. Occasionally. Um, so some, the most recent post in the Van Sant costume looks like an edited picture of just a movie scene gonk droid. That's correct. Ix. Is that considered cosplay? Cause it's not the person in any kind of outfit. Unless he was the gonk? Yeah, ducks. Um, Can we verify if he was the gonk? In this droid? man's whole career? He just if joined. no one is in it, then it's... Yeah, well, there's Photoshop definitely someone in count. it, but that person is probably dead. Or on Tatooine. Which is the same. Yeah, really. dead on Tatooine. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, super cheap with 2,000 gold. Good, woo. All right, we got shots coming out of the Loki. Probably those large pulse lasers. Oh, and uh, eight ups to hit. And as the mayor of uh, the auxiliary, I have uh, the following message uh, Pork toast is not just a meme, it's a way of life. Don't you let your memes be dreams. That's right. You're, are you going to tell me it was cooked well and good and evenly? Yeah, that I'm the most confused person. Trust me. I'm wow. That's like a it's just like sideways ovening. <laughs> I have to think I've accidentally pioneered suspension broiling. Suspension broiling. You better patent that. You could like get on like an infomercial and sell like this really dressed up toaster that's at the end of the day just a just a toaster. <laughs> like the what did you call it? 
the suspension port- broiler. Yes. You gotta throw a number on there. Like the suspension broiler 2000. Suspension broiler 42. It's a good number. All right. Incoming fire on the Loki. Looks like 11 ups with the light PPCs from the Arctic Fox. Uh, Lone Wolf is asking, why do we not have a prediction for the winning team? He wants to bet all his goob. Yeah, let's. Okay, let's let's get that going. (laughs) Yeah. And before you bet, guys, before you bet, make sure to donate to the art drive before you spend all your goob on the betting. You can do max 2K per stream. Um, so just go ahead and throw that 2K in there, and then we'll start the bet. And Frosty, we have Tex and Sir Hat versus Whirlin and Wasp. A team of four very, very grognard people. All right, first shots tech. come out. Large pulse lasers connect with Whirlin, taking off all the armor on his left arm and right torso nearly. Arctic Fox misses all three. Trebuchet misses its two LRM 15s. And that and the Trebuchet stays up from the 20 plus damage from those large pulse lasers. Very scary opening. I'm surprised that heck that Tex isn't firing off his lasers to start generating the heat for the TSM. I think he's a bit too many turns away. He doesn't want to like I, well, he should be using it for speed. Yeah, you're right. He should be yeah. blessed. I don't think he knows how to shoot the trees, honestly. I didn't know you could shoot the trees, so there you go. You can shoot the trees. You can shoot anything. You have Take to shoot plain time. Target a hex, yeah. Take that, stupid trees. Give it a must, oxygen. You must resist stuff. the urge to drop sticky notes on the field. You can do that. Uh, oh, I know drop, I can. Drop a sticky note that says corn dog here. What was their name? Team Chair what? The uh, Please hold. It is the Hungry Chair Benders. All right, poll is up. It's only, it's a short two minute poll, so make sure you get your, your predictions in, but make sure to goob donate before you throw it over there because you could win more or lose too much. Hey, uh, Diggs. Oh, shit. Crow is saying maybe some text on the top of the screen saying team names and players. Oh, good call. See, that's why he's a professional streamer. You check him out on the courtesy plush. He knows yeah, what he's he doing. We just kind of, this happens because we messed up. No, I don't need the scrolling. The past. Yeah, the there's a bunch of chuckles, and then like Crow's just over there, just shaking his head because he actually knows how to do the things. Crow actually helped get WPL off its feet with along with a few people, so I trust everything he says, except about mixer advice. He sent me the wrong mixer once. We're gonna live if it down. <laughs> if you need a mixer, I know a guy. I once again, completely forgot to hit the button. You need me to, you want to un-GM maybe? <laughs> uh, no, I'll just do better. That's the spirit. And it was hungry chair, whatever. Hungry chair benders, like avatar, I guess. I don't know. Text is going on in the game chat. To glory, death, and mayhem. I am the Ayatollah of rock and roll. It's a lot of tollas and rollas. I think that's the point. Is that good? Does that look good, Irv? <laughs> yeah, that's great. Can you make it a little bigger? Uh, a little, oh, bigger? Okay, hold on. Yeah, just a little bigger. Yeah, yeah. Does just... that work? Is this helping everybody? <laughs> there you go. Yeah, it's like a you know manual. Yeah, just scrolling. move that around during the entire right there you go we're professionals here folks yeah we, we you know it's this is custom is paying a lot of attention to moving it around we work hard here see this is a good where. setup because the hunchback and definitely needs to close but they know they can't afford to close because of those chargers i think this is going to be a very interesting fight here comes Tex racing up in his. Still no heat on it. It's probably going to start blasting this turn. Oh, I missed the chance to bet my goob. What? It closed already. 
Diggs, you make sure you have the text animated frames for maximum redness. Yeah, I should have had it like rainbow and like a random pair of pit vipers floating around. <laughs> All right, they made their moves. Chargers moving in close. You called it, Exemplus, coming on the right, the left side with his lighter mech. The Loki's moving on up, and the Toborg doesn't really seem to be moving as far. Oh, there it is. Oh, there he goes. I'm about to say, I don't know what they. Okay. All right, so he's moving in. He's starting to move in. Somebody, truck. somebody share the screen. Oh yeah. Oh, um, oh yeah. I left. I'll do it. And the I did a the corn dog truck did some sweet ass turns. Skr. Thank you. Oh guys, chill. No, no need for Mister Train. We're good, guys. <laughs> Thank you. I you know. Take care of yourself, your families, everything. Support Tex on the Patreon if you really want to. This is like if you really have nothing else to throw your money at. You can make worse decisions. <laughs> it's the train! Oh, Charger's getting blasted by the Hunchback. Yeah. Needing nine nines nine. and a seven for the AC. It's a good chance. But aside from the triple strength, Tex isn't rocking too many internals, so I think Thank he'll do you, well. Go. Thank you for the five octopus, North Pacific octopus, 100 bits from Knight, 100 bits from Vectron, 100 bits from Loki, another 100 bits from Vectron, and a hype train kind of jumping around. We do appreciate your support. Thank you so much. Blue Mage with the Prime Sub. Prime Sub always accepted. Blue Mage is going to be in our second game. Play Digs Only Bears audio clips. Okay, hold on a sec. Only bears. It's just a whole bunch of like bear sounds. Without a translator, you just wouldn't get it. Arctic Fox continuing his light PPC barrage onto the Jenner 2C, who's just too quick with 11 ups to hit. The real threat's going to be this Loki as he advances with his large pulse lasers. Oh, he's never going to he's never going to miss, but then medium and short range. But he's a sniper. He shouldn't be trying to get too close. You should be using that range on him. The trebuchet is blasting the woods in front of him. With his LRM 7s? Need 7s to hit those trees. <laughs> All right. They're very so, trees. so there are advanced strats that even are above me because I don't know what strats are. Maybe uh, he just doesn't like trees. The strat is a type of guitar. It's a stratocaster. Oh, man. I'd or love one of those. Maybe they're uh, generating smoke. Smoke? Yeah, I mean, upping their heat. But I'm, gonna read out. I'm not seeing uh, TSM anywhere, so. No. Building the heat. Oh, wow, he already lost his left arm. It's all right. It looks like he's moved all his weapons into the torsos. No. Left arm, right torso. Oh, no, his armor is gone. He still has a structure on his left arm. Yeah. Another 100 from Night Owl. Thank you. Smock is important. <laughs> 8, 8, 30, 8, 380. Eight ups with the large pulses at the trebuchet. So what are the teams piloting? Okay, so I'll let Diggs go over the damage and then I'll let it I'll go to All right, that. so the Hunchback unloads, misses a medium laser, medium laser, but hits with the AC-10 and the other medium laser. Center torso, right torso, and right arm are all affected. No other to speak out. Arctic Fox once again misses with all three of his light PPCs. He's just not rolling great. Besides, that target was really nice. moving fast. Nice, nice. Thank you for the 69 bits. Um, Whirlin misses with both of his LM15s at a hex, at the tree hex. I think he's just doing it for posterity. Every turn you must shoot. Arctic Fox lands one medium pulse laser on the charger. The Loki lands both large pulse lasers on the trebuchet, removing even more damage. Almost internals on the left torso. And the Jenner misses all three of the SRMs, unfortunately. And no one falls over. Then you can go ahead. Okay, so we have Texan Hat 
uh, versus Whirlin and Wasp. Tex is piloting a pair of custom chargers with triple strength myomer and small pulse lasers at the wazoo. Uh, Hat is piloting a Loki with a targeting computer and large pulse lasers, as well as a Jenner 2C with just a ridiculous amount of missiles, just SRM missiles. Um, Wasp is piloting a pair of Arctic Foxes, um, one with quad light PPCs, the other with pulses. Pulses. Uh, Whirlin is piloting a pair of older no, mechs, but very durable ones. A stock Trebuchet 5N and what appears to be a stock Hunchback 4H. So there you go. What does this shield button do? I have to oh, step yeah, away for, for just a moment. All right. Mayor stepping away. What sh oh, shield? Don't press the shield button. That, that, that the shield blocks button. the whole chat out like Just if you're being a, under attack. Guys, level four hype train? Chill. 16.6. Six. No, no. It It's 6.96 six, six, or 6.969. Six, nine, six, nine, nine. I, I didn't mean to dissuade you with the... I appreciate the 6.9 six, or 690 bits, but I'm not, I'm not trying to like trick you into donating again. Halion donating five tier one subs thank you for that oh dang vector 189 what is the meaning behind it? hunchback moving up into the sand doesn't get stuck or bogged down that's good to see he's about to go toe to toe with this charger folks he's gonna get flanked by two he's probably gonna get back up from his arctic boxes Trebuchet probably should back up and start lobbing. That these chargers are looking for ways to get close, man. See, it's a lot easier to just arm armchair quarterback people than to actually be good at the game. Oh yeah, for sure. Watch, <laughs> watching from the top, knowing that it doesn't matter, the dice are gonna screw or save you at all times. Right. It's good to be like, oh, that's a bold play con. Let's see if it pays off. And then the dice right. ready to go, ah, oh, it wasn't worth it. Hey, now I see Andy. why people want to be announcers for the sports they used to play. Oh yeah, right, just be John Madden. We gotta get a way to draw on the on the map real fast. <laughs> I wonder, but let me see if I could do that. There's a way. Oh god. I'm not gonna try to break it anything. If it seems weird, I won't do it, but uh it's not hurting anything because it's in the background. Can I draw on I mean I could do the um the pirate software guy and just pull up paint and just go, oh see if you go here or go there, a tough acting to acting. Yeah. So right now, Team 1, Texan Hat, sits at 98.36% of their battle value, whereas Team 2, Whirlin, and Wasp sit at a very slightly lower 97.1%. How so many the chargers? Blow up, get destroyed. Oh, the charger is moving in. If you have Windows Pen thing, you're able to, but you would have to stream your entire desk. Oh, uh, yeah. I do have a Wacom, the first um, ad that I got for Gummy when she was trying to move to digital art before we got her an iPad and a uh, pencil, too. So I could probably use that and see if I can pull up some dumbass circles and arrows that point at nothing. <laughs> like, if you go over here, there's no... See, there's no there's no rubble there. So if you go there, you don't go rubble. Like, We've thanks, got two you. of the chargers moving up on the Hunchback 4H. Hopefully Tex Next remembers that... Hopefully Tex can tell when the... Oh, no. I should have... You know, it's a little bit disadvantaged because we all know that Tex is colorblind. I don't think Tex knows when a mech has moved yet or not. He might run mm. up on someone who didn't move yet, and then they'll move and he'll be like, crap. Hmm. But he can still see the box for the pips, right? If, I mean, if he if he knew where to look. <laughs> Tex isn't a super, like, he's not, he's not like, he hasn't played a lot of Mega Mech. He's played a lot of Battle Tech. So I should probably do that. Level high hey, three. Thank you for the level three hype train, everybody. Twelve gift subs, 1500 bits. That appreciate it. Nice. I just want to see one of nice. the chargers running in holding a chair, like a mech scale chair. We need, we need the chair. Well, he might pick up a tree out of this forest. Does he have hand actuators? I'm pretty sure he's got one. He can pick up a if he has a free hand, he can totally pick up. A club, but he, he would, does. It would he use, has one hand. Um, but it does use your your firing turn to do it. 
But he can do it uh, on his... Yeah. He might be able to pull it off on his physical phase, but I'm pretty sure that you get it early. Yeah, he's going to want to shoot those 10 small pulse lasers. That's a lot of small that's, a, that's so many. Look at these spinning digs. They're all neuro helmets. It's how crazy it is. That's a 30 damage alpha that they all hit. It's Texas like, it's uh, easy, Chargers man. also do have jump jet ability, so he can death from above if the stars align. Yeah, you if said, he really wants to, he can Goomba stop. You said can, what you mean is inevitably will. Inevitably will. He only has three jump, so it's not very far, but it is I'd like there. to also point out that it is Mad Duck's birthday today. Well, no, that was actually this uh, past week. So happy birthday, Mad Duck. It was this last week. Yeah, I wish Mad Duck's a happy wish birthday. Wish him a happy birthday, everybody. He deserves all the love since he gives it constantly out to everybody. I love well, when Titch has notified me. Oh, hey, Liz, it's fine. Hey, Blue. I'm listening Liz, to Pirate you. Sea Shanties. That's a way to do it. Happy birthday. Yeah, shake that ass. Thank you. My my hatching day was the other day. I made uh made kebabs in a toaster. Well, we're changing it. It's today. It welcome, today welcome now. to the Digs oh. Anomaly where I get to assign birthdays because I have so many to give out. So happy birthday! I mean, that is true. I guess I'll have to make more toaster kebabs today. Yeah, I mean, don't die. I want to see toaster like cinnamon rolls, like you know those ones you buy in the tube. <laughs> stick a th stick a skewer through that and drop that down in there. Like one of the cheap cinnamon rolls that's like a flat disc. Try yeah. that. I want to see that. I love how that digs looks like it's flipping over the other days. <laughs> All right, we've got lots of shots. Loki continuing his barrage under the trebuchet, but the trebuchet is firing his lasers into the back of the Arctic Fox. Both of Wasp's mechs are going to be beaten up pretty hard. This is in a hell of a list. The Hunchback lands one, two, three, everything besides one medium laser. They're moving a lot of armor. These chargers are maxed armor for a charger. All 200 slots it can have is armor. So it does do a lot of damage. Still no armor pen yet. The Great Arctic Fox, hits from Wasp. again, that Arctic Fox is unfortunately just not wanting to roll over. No LPCs. The Arctic, uh, yeah, the Arctic, one Arctic Fox. The Trebuchet misses both as well. The other Arctic Fox lands everything except two, uh, two mediums, doing a lot Good of hits. damage on that Jenner. But the Loki, oh, crits his foot on one of the, the Trebuchet. Oh boy. That's gonna cause, that might make it fall over or have trouble walking a little bit. Um, the Charger lands two of its small pulses. And the other Jenner misses all of its SRM6s, unfortunately. Well, that TSM is active now, fella. I tell you what. Yeah, he's he's ready to burn and start punching now. And the trebuchet stays up. Let's take a look. How is Tex? Tex is at 10 heat. He's in the he's in the zone. Let's look at his other charger. Other charger will have to wait till next turn. I'm actually laughing over here. I'm, I'm squinting because my vision's super blurry today, and I'm like four inches from the screen and squinting to see. Zooming in, zooming in. Manual zoom. And physical attacks go out. Miss misses on both the Arctic Fox and the... And the Jenner goes down. The Jenner falls over, unfortunately, rolling a oh, no. snake eyes on their needing pilot check when they miss their kick. Oh, wow, he rolled a... Th dude, Wasp is having terrible luck today. He's rolling way under sixes. Almost Sometimes. failed. Sometimes the dice just hit you. They really do. And the charger's sitting at 10, like you said. He's ready. This is a this is a big deal because now that really fast guy who's capable of building a lot of evasion is going to have very limited options because he's got to spend it getting up. So this could be their chance to take out probably the most uh, difficult mech to kill in this round. Indeed. But we're always Next just one, you're one dice roll away from a change of life. Hey, Super Michael. Silicone. Time for the boots. Medium style. That's right, Stuka. All right, coming into the round five, we're going to be... Um, team two wins initiative. So it's going to be even worse for them this round because they're going to have to yeah. play, they're going to have to play this round safe and either move away or pray that they move the right guys at the right time. See, I knew that's unfortunately text like like I said, this is one of those things that I I didn't really explain or really think about when I was playing some games with text, kind of get him used to the system. Is he doesn't 
realized that some the mech didn't move yet, so he moves in to do his TSM punch when he should have just swapped to the other charger. And hopefully they don't swap their next movement, so maybe the char the other charger might be able to get within range, but that that probably well, won't I pay mean, off. To be fair, going that first, I mean, there's not a whole lot else he could have done. Yeah. It's just, a, I mean, hopefully the Hunchback knows to get farther away than the, the 20 small pulse lasers that are currently in his face oh, right yeah. now. Because if he just backs up one space thinking he's good, he's still going to get blopped. With it's going to get melted. Or 30 I'm, on average damage. I'm here for the carnage. Hell yeah. We're about too. to see some now. Yeah, we're, we're, in, we're in punch range. This is a... Um, well, jump. Tobar gets up and moves away. See, if I was Wasp, I would start. I would send one of these foxes to harass that Loki. Oh yeah, but they are sure. having good luck ganging up. That Loki up. has done most of the damage on the team so far, so I would also be focusing that Loki. Start the violence chant. Uh, do I have a violence? I actually talked with Mo about uh, two of us just making an all urban mech, you know, lance. It's very good. Like I said, I, a couple weeks or a couple days ago, maybe last week, our Exemplus here was running the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Irby squad with a shredder on a little hover bike. <laughs> it was, yeah, shredder. It was shredder extremely was effective, around. except our AK Lone Wolf's Berserker and my Marauder carrying two Hag 40s missed everything and then got our heads blown off before we could do anything. And then it was just them versus a whole squad of like 14,000 BB. Yeah. It didn't go well. Crow almost pulled it off with the Storm Crow, knocking them all the way down to three lasting mechs, but they rolled two 11s and a 12 on the last turn and were able to hit him, even though he had five evasion pips. It was... Welcome to it RNG. That, why is it that every time I hear any story about Crow playing Battletech, like, he's the one that does all the work and everybody else is uh, flubbing the dice roll? He he has the heart of the cards, he has, for sure. He's one... He's a, he's a good boy, so he gets the, the RNG's Jesus luck. But also, he loves fast, jumpy boys with a lot of, like, behind you punch. So, And he knows how to play a hit-and-run character really well. So when he's playing Mega Mech, he's very effective. Like, Crow with oh, a yeah. full Lance would be very scary. And once we get our Mega our Mega, Mega HQ campaign going, and we get to the point where each of us are going to have our own full mech, or Lances, it'll be really scary Dominion play as we all watch Crow play for two extra days while we're all dead. I mean, probably. Yeah, probably. Look, I, I'm very bad at a lot of things. I named my character in the BattleTech campaign I'm playing with Whirlin, uh, Leroy McJenkins. Oh, so he runs in. And solid move by the Hunchback. Tanker, and uh, the fact that he's still alive is honestly confusing. Oop. Yeah, Hunchbacks. Hunchback's still gonna get blasted. At least he's not going to get punched. Long yeah, range for one charger, medium for the other. And with the yeah. pulses, it won't really make a huge difference. He'll still have a pretty good chance. Well, that's long range. Do you yeah. see charger? Yes, you see two chargers. Van Zant, uh I'll hover over them so that you see their stuff. And then a hunchback, which is a cannon mech. Can you see the names of the pilots for the uh, audience here? The um, None of them set any names except for hat. So uh, it just the... displays their, un their uh, chassis. Oh, okay, because I know the Charger pilots get renamed. Yeah, so he's running a he's running a Jenner and a, yeah. oh well, pilot names don't show up on the on the actual game board. Only your call sign will. Yeah, if you if you actually open them up, they'll say it. But no one's gonna see that. But no one's gonna see it. Yeah. Yeah, we've got Herman Cortez in the light Charger, and we've got Bort Dordison. Bort Dordison. <laughs> Bort Dordles. God, what was the name of that one random pilot we had in that one game? I mean, like, set the channel status to that name. It sounded like something out of Dune. <laughs> Could be anything. Even a boat. <laughs> like Lisa Al Gaib. Lisa Al Gaib! Just wanted to take a minute to uh, use this platform to uh, say, Praise Blake. Wow. Every chance he gets, guys. But you know, he's consistent, and that's what matters. He ain't flip flopping. He ain't blah blah. Hail Cargonia, that's what I say. Blake, you say? Hail Cargonia. <laughs> no praise, Blake. No. <laughs> Unsubscribe, you know. 
uh, personally. The, the words of Exemplus do not represent or the community of BPL or WPPL76 as a whole. Individual comments are on him. Just a quick Why thing. can't I pin something in the chat? Uh, I don't know. Usually you just hit the Have pin button. Tried. Yeah, it's not working. What do you want me to pin? Praise Blake? Praise Blake, yeah. I'm not going to allow that. <laughs> I can't let you do that, Exemplus. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> it works. Mad duck, she bastard. <laughs> the yeah, mayor said it. The mayor did it. I can't do anything to stop it. Unable to pin. Something went wrong. Try again. Weird. I don't think you're an editor. I think that's the difference. Look, but I, may not have, I may not approve of saying pr praise Blake. Um, I may just be a humble member of the live and periphery that just likes to throw ordinance at their problems until people get bored and go away. But um, I, you know, I appreciate his gusto. So we got a lot of fire going in on that hunchback. Arctic Fox taking this opportunity to lay some fire into the rear of the Jenner 2C. Loki continuing his bombardment on the tre trebuchet. But the Arctic Fox is backing him up with sevens for his four light PPC. So he's going to push his heat a little bit to do some damage. And there's three people alpha pain. striking that hunchback. <laughs> Just I trying mean, to get listen. it out of the way. I'd be in a hurry to get rid of the hunchback too. So. As someone who who regularly pilots a hunchback, um, they can take a substantial amount of abuse until they can take a you get some clanner abuse who goomba stomps your face in three times on turn two. Yeah, thanks, Tobler. Big shout out! Big shout out to uh, to Dance Man Throwing there. My goob. Forgot almost. Thank you, Night Owl. Even though you didn't yell at me this time, it was in my head. Oh, um, I dead. call. I cast corn dog portion. <laughs> oh no! Corn dog artillery. Dad, tell you that uh, Ray Rasta has given me per, uh, ownership of the um, urban mech lamb. The urban lamb? I mean, it was just, you know, being silly in chat during a live stream. You're now the herb father. You're not wrong. Keeper of the STL. Uh, the pioneer of the er, the Blam Balloonland Air Mech, the uh, hot air. <laughs> now it's near the corn dog. <laughs> All right, let's see how this goes. Oh, oh my God! The, the Loki trebuchet blast gone. at the trebuchet, hitting it in the I'm assuming the right torso explodes out the ammo, knocks out the pilot, <gasps> and explodes. It exceeds stack, stack poles. Doing damage to any round does more does damage to the his ally six damage to the Arctic Fox nearby. Man, that's a that's, that's a bonus. A... That's bonus on damage. What a shot from Hat and his Loki. Stack pulling and ammo explosions are on, so this is why this happens. It's a little bit of fun. And then the charger like... lands four five of one of the small laser, just destroying armor like crazy. The Jenner lands its SRM sixes and its SRM fours, doing a lot of damage to the back to that hunchback. So it's it's a beast though. It's staying up. The Arctic Fox hits with two of the light PPCs, doing five on the back each, and the hunchback lands medium laser on the center torso, critting the Charger's engine and jump jet. So that might hurt his ability to keep up if he needs to, but it's 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 going to cause some heat. Which four he can, pilot which he checks. Wants. Everyone's still up. Uh, and then there was some oh, except the armor shot. removed on the pretty much the janitor just had most of its armor removed and then the LRM 15 lands on the Loki finding with some damage on the sniper boy for 12 damage and everyone's up oh yeah Creed engines out boom but yeah get those praise orgs in chat we got our stack pull hurt his own ally slightly but that wasn't really his fault got a kick on the Jenner 2C it did not fall over, but it has no armor on its right leg. Anymore. Hunchback took a beating and Ooh. is still in the green. The Charger's not shut down. That means he's going to be ready to punch next turn. Here's hoping that. Do they win initiative? As you can see, the hot dog truck is over by the Bubba J's Megaplex. Make sure to grab your free hot dog with your voucher if you can get to the corn dog truck. Corn dogs are mandatory, by the way. My mandatory. Uh, we tried to work out mustard and ketchup delivery, but... Um... Well, see, we actually solved that. We went into every one of your mechs. This is why you sent me the files. We went into every one of your mechs, and we replaced the propellant in your auto-ejector seat 
with ketchup and mustard on the left and right side respectively. So when you get your corn dog, all you have to do is just squirt it out of the tank. That's right. You don't need all your heat sinks. Now, one of the test pilots did drown in ketchup, and it was really weird. That was just one. It was, it was one head it, shape. It was one they guy. They didn't tighten the bolt. It was on them. So we're not sued because they don't live. Like, no one's alive oh, to replace them. Fluid guns on the on the corn dog truck would have been a great idea. Yeah, just, oh, dude. Next time. You know. Like, <laughs> Why really Tom side is- corn dog? No, this is Bubba J's. This is a sponsor. Don't We don't talk about the white Tom on Van Zandt right now. UNC Samurai with 40,000 goob into the goob drive. Thank Damn, you. Damn, dude, your dedication. I'm curious, does the stand have a chicken soda? Uh, Bubba J, do they have chicken flavored soda? As a matter of fact, we have country style chicken soda on tap, ready to go. And if you need it to go with you and last longer, we're selling it in bottles, but not cans because, well, okay, we're out of cans because we tried using them in auto cannons. Don't worry about it. But we have them uh, on tap and in bottles ready to go. Also, a sponsor segment of this current turn, which was specifically for the turn we're currently on, was Griglack. Uh, Grig Lack and Sons, Barbarians at Law. If you have any, uh, if you have any charges you need to get charged at, they will charge you for it. Uh, Vectron's in chat with speaking actual common sense over here. Whoa. Uh, common sense. Well, I'll get him out of here. Uh, Vectron says, uh, Ducks, look, it's easy. Fill water balloons with condiments. Use launchers. Red for ketchup, yellow for mustard, green for rush. The fact that this counts as common sense does tell you that you are, in fact, on WBPL 76. Why are Welcome you WBBL 76. And why are Thanks you here? Thanks for the sub, Dark Azale. Thank you, Dark Azale. Uh, Three months. By the Night Owl Foundation and the Diggs Bear Association. I think you get your your uh, jort briefs at three months. Yeah, three months. Your your panty. Uh, yeah, your pants become stinky and then they become short shorts. So the charger is stuck in a marsh. Can you jump jet out of a marsh? Or do you have to get unstuck uh, to jump? Jet? Fortunately, when you're stuck, you only can do a pilot check to remove your stuck. And that means you'll be able to walk afterwards, not jump. It's like falling over. But Texas, oh, Texas up close on the hunchback again, but Whirlin again gets a very, very solid initiative roll. They've been, we actually, the person who's been killing initiative is you still. You keep rolling top, but we're not on a team, so it's not happening. For all your personal injury needs, remember the Griglack promise, your money guaranteed or Griglack charge. I mean, you'll win the case either way, either legally or just because they don't exist anymore. Exemplus says my pit vipers arrived today. What? You get new ones? No, I pinned it. Did you get new ones? No. no S- 400 got his pair of pit vipers today. Dude, nice. Oh, Welcome, exactly. Acolyte. Exemplus, how if you're in the he... Discord, we'll give you the, the role for that. That's right. Send me a message on the auxiliary. How did the pit vipers on the mechs hold up in shipping? Uh, well... They did fine. Uh, every robot I unboxed had the little visors. I actually have them right here. Uh, but yeah, everyone I took out of the egg had a uh, had the visors still on it. So uh, it, it pretty took, well. Took, I, I will begrudgingly admit it took six failed tries and calling in help. Turns out pit vipers on mechs are really hard. Yeah, that was. I'm a, looking that at was a this challenge. hunchback with a cane, a top hat, and a pair of pit vipers, and it looks like a four SP. Yes, he has a whole squad of... They came in little Easter eggs with its Easter egg overlord. <laughs> Easter egg drop if, if you haven't seen it, there's a shirt on YouTube and there was uh, on Numeric Workshop pretty recently. It's also clipped. We actually said some nice things about Exemplus and I had to make him embarrassed about it, so I clipped it. Yeah, some weirdo printed uh, dropship and uh, with a cowboy hat. Oh, so Arn already got Srota the uh, the call. All right, roll. We're quick, apparently. I mean, it might have been Granite. I mean, he's he's always oh. in there. Okay, so Grimos is is throwing shade at me. He says there's no there's no squeak smoke or... screen. Uh, I I make a game of being hard to get quoted by only saying weird things next to Squick because then everybody's looking at Squick and I get away with everything. Yeah, he's the he's the and also in person too because he's like the half but one of the biggest guys in the room also loud and his eyebrows are like bigger than most people's he, hands 
epic eyebrows. He looks like an owl. Do you ever notice like he kind of looks like those old owl cartoons that have those huge nice. eyebrows? <laughs> Who are you nice. guys talking about? Squick, Squick, and he's just very enthusiastic. I uh, like. Uh, he's so I, great. I got to I got to stay in the same house uh, as Squick during the BPL con, and I, that was me meeting him, even oh, interacting no. with him for the first time. And he is just honestly one of the most wonderful human beings he that I've met. Tex needed a three, he rolled a two, and if he rolls a two again, he's gonna lose his mech to the swamp because he's bogging down. That, oh no. He's sinking in his charger. That is the so unfortunate. You. you know, uh, Squick is, is pretty great for pretty much everything. <laughs> like, when I see his work, his enthusiasm, his, his ability to like maintain doing the wacky stuff and then throw in like little personal projects, he's. I don't think I've ever been gifted more of a precious gift to me by someone from the like randomly in the Legion that I don't concern myself super close with than when he brought the camera printer to the meetup. Because yeah. I have no the only picture in my house is one like a is a painting of me and Gummy. And then there was a medieval's time picture of Exempl Exemplus and his wife and me and Gummy. And that was the all the pictures anywhere in my house until the meetup and he just let me print everyone I wanted to keep with me. I have pictures of Al, of Exemplix, Squid. I have everyone who was at the meetup on on my refrigerator now and it's I think it's the, my favorite part of my house now. Every time I go in my kitchen, I look at my fridge and just see all the friends I have in the Legion. Oh. And that's that's, that's nice. It's good to have reminders off out of sight of my PC that these people are my friends. Absolutely. I have our uh, picture from Medieval Times next to my uh, tower. All right. Next to his sweet ass one dark side Titan Pascal GPU cooler, <laughs> which is bad. Yes, I did. I do have a Star Wars Galactic Empire limited edition Titan XP um, as my graphics card, uh, but I didn't like buy it. I won it in a contest on Facebook, but I took the, the cooler off the stock blower, which is the neat part. And I have it all displayed in its nice, fancy see-through $1,500 case on top of my computer. But I just have an AIO uh, water block on there. Yeah, of course we can have a... I mean, based on how long the matches take, it's going pretty fast so far. We're only 53 oh, yeah. minutes in. We're on turn whatever it is. Actually, I could pull that up. Uh, we're on turn six out of 15, but we already have a couple mechs about to go down. Here we go. Ooh, Ooh headshot hit. right off the bat with the large pulse laser down to two internal armor. Charger medium or small pulse lasers the crap out of the Arctic box a little bit. Uh, wow, that Jenner just is not rolling great. Misses all the SRM sixes and fours again. Arctic Wolf putting in work. The hell, the AC 10 landing on the Charger. The, oh yeah, you're right. That thing, the light like PPC just slamming into him, hitting the head. head the head, other yeah. artifact taking out all the armor in the <gasps> arm. Oh no! The wasp is the down. The artifact fell over, bonk his head, and rolled a four out of five. It blacks out. One of them is technically down until they roll Dang. above a five on their next turn to wake up. That is unfortunate. So dice gods give take away. Texas stuck in a bog and getting blown up, and Arctic Fox is falling over, blocking their head off. Oof, oof. That's gonna be a little bit of a downer, considering that was the one that was supposed to be finishing the charger. <laughs> Tex didn't hear no bell. He don't hear no bell. That's what you love about BattleTech, man. You get, everyone's got everyone's got a get a, uh, a plan. corn dog or get charged. <laughs> Everyone's got a plan until they get a triple through armor crit from a small pulse laser. Let's see if the dice gods are in their favor. Unfortunately, they lose initiative again, even with... Oh, man. So we do have initiative compensation turned on, so if you're just getting railed, you get bonuses. Yeah, so they're, they'll they'll make a comeback, but unfortunately... Two, wait, they actually won last turn, right? And then they lost the turn, two turns before. So that's you why know, they I had don't two. remember. I, I just checked. They had a plus one in compensation, so they just lost. Man. Well, now they'll have a plus two. 12 heat on the charger. No longer stuck. Gets out successfully and doesn't bog down in the sand. And instead of running around the knocked out... Oh, yeah, he runs around the sand. That's good. Now he's going to be able to turn and start shooting the that Arctic Fox. The Loki's moving in the short range with the large pulse lasers to make sure that that Arctic Fox does not move again. 
Oh, the charger's moving behind. Once again, he goes to the hunchback. Looks like... Did he slip? I don't... I mean, he's he's facing not the best way. Mm. Because all of his lasers is torso. He... I'm not sure... I mean, he could be... I mean, if they... Oh, man. We'll yeah. see how... We'll see how it works out. It, that was a bold strategy. play. I gotta start reading lines from, uh, like, Dodgeball, that really high announcer. I'm not high, though. Wish I was. In Minecraft. In Minecraft. By the oh, way, dude. how was your Minecraft oh experience last night? Oh my god, I was just about to start ranting about it. I was like, no, don't do it live on stream. No, no, we're, we got we got air to fill and Mad Ducks is here. <laughs> okay, so, um, I, I started playing Minecraft, like, two or three years ago. I've done it all i've built everything i've killed the ender dragon the weather whatever several times but just vanilla i've never played a single mod except connecting to some hyper modded server that Diggs had um which i played for six seconds couldn't find my way and died to something i couldn't even see but so he finally convinced me to download a, a mod pack just a single mod pack it was like a different game it's like a minecraft like three is my computer, my my Titan was struggling, but it was beautiful. Oh yeah, dude. yeah. The, the I encountered like on. abandoned like mage towers in the middle of the woods, and I encountered like a, I found a village like that's just off the coast of a landmass, and it's on a little sand island, and it has this enormous, beautiful lighthouse, and it's uh, four of the five villagers that live there live in the live in the the lighthouse. And so that was just like, this is amazing. Like there's a, you know, there's a little golem walking around and there's like a, I don't even know what their professions are. They're not going to stay what they are, but I was just staring at the sunset. Yeah, Stuka, exactly. I was gushing about that in general chat last night when I should have been sleeping. Me too. But it was great. It was great. I, I told Gummy it, that it was your first adventure in a modded because me and her routinely will jump into a mod pack for like two or three months straight and just burn through it or just play it out. And... That's like how we'd play games together once in a while. So she's like, oh, I'm, I'm feeling Minecraft. I'm like, I don't think he's going to do a server. I think it's a single player thing. So we'll, we'll talk about that later. I'm not sure what the Charger Engineer team are going to do here. Uh, there It's all over the place, really. Charger does break out. Good. Runs over there. And now it's time to fire. Let's see if he can. I don't Ooh, think the charger's he... gonna get a chance to punch. TSM is up. Oh, well, the charger's punches. That's his ally. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Unified team yep. ammo will do that. Can we just cut that part? Can we just go yeah, ahead and cut yeah, that? Right. No one, no one saw that. Just Tender, that. juicy butt meat. Well, that the Arctic Fox is definitely getting deleted this turn. Because if it's immobile and he's knocked out, they'll be over the target. And the large pulse laser Loki being short range means that it's going to be at like a plus two. Mm -hmm. So there's a really good chance that... Yeah, that Loki's putting in some work, man. What is the other Arctic Fox doing? You know, I'm not oh, sure. Oh, it's a, it's a light PPCs. It's a, it's a medium range sniper. Arctic Fox. Still need eights up to hit on the lo for the Loki shots of the Arctic Fox. So that's not too bad. Looks like they're going to finally take some guns off the board here. Going to finish off the Arctic Fox while they can. Which is smart, considering it's very quick and can build a lot of evasion. Not sure what the Charger in the corner is doing, but he should be able to get at least half of his pulse. No, he'd be too far. Yeah, he's, 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 he, he went a little bit too far and didn't turn at all. And in, so even at his max yeah. torso twist on that Charger, he's not going to be able to shoot anyone that turn. I mean, he actually might be able to hit the Hunchback with his something? No, he's nope. one hex away. Damn. Long range is three hexes, and he's four. Unfortunate. Yeah. All right, here we go. The Charger, oh, man, misses the Arctic Fox with everything they shoot at it. Uh, the Loki hits with l one large pulse on the Arctic Fox. One armor remaining. The Jenner hits, oh, mm. my God, with... Just destroying the Arctic Fox. Center torso gets crit. Small pulse laser. Double heat sink. Jump jet. Oh. All destroyed. The AC-10 hits the charger, though. Takes out two standard gyros in the engine. I think that charger's not getting back up. No, he's not down. He's still up. No, he's down. Oh, he, he is. He can't be up with two gyro hits. 
<laughs> I mean, he has to roll, what, nines? Yeah, he has to roll nines and he didn't, so he fell over. Hurt himself again. Uh, the charger is clock. down. Putting in a lot of work. Yeah. All the light PPCs and an AR medium laser. This is, into the this low is a key. brawl, boys. Everyone's unloading. Hell yeah. Oh, man. Oh, he avoids shutting down at 17 heat. Way to go. He didn't hear no bell. I don't see that charger is down, brother. I see his I think no gyro I... prone. Oh, oh, I'm looking at the wrong one. Yeah, I'm talking We're about the one that they here. shot at. <laughs> the other charger. This is why we got to make sure they have nicknames. So Milo, oh, Toborg is down. You know, I got to think. Right. And round up, oh, they finally won initiative. Thank Good God. <laughs> they, the charger may be able to get close. We'll see. Charger, but me claimed. And that's that's knocker. that's the dice gods, folks. Like you can have the best setup, the best positioning, and you lose one roll, and if they're armor critical to your head, you're gone. Yeah, I mean, this game is if anything is just you're here for the ride. You tell it what to do, and you pray that the RNG has your side. Because I could have five ups in every shot, but if I roll under four every shot, and then you roll elevens and twelves on tens up, I die still. <laughs> That's why I love this game, though. It's just like it's it's literally a storytelling. It's just engine, a story. Yeah. It's a storytelling. It's a battle storytelling engine where this shit happens, and you pray that what you want happens works. And if it doesn't, there we go. And every now and then, cool shit happens. Like you make these impossible shots, or you hit this guy just right to make his you know fusion engine explode, which is totally possible. Mm -hmm. God, we had once during an Irby Derby back. This is a long time ago. We were trying to organize an Irby Derby, but it fell by the wayside. Oh my uh, but God, during I some just realized practice he never matches, woke up. That Arctic box is still down. Sorry for interrupting. I just realized oh, no, he never fine. got up. <laughs> oh no. All right, go on. Um, we were trying to practice. We did. We we're doing practice matches and we had Crow, I think, skidded something like 22 hexes, crashed into a building and stack pulled. And then wow. there was another game that we did where we had a chain reaction of, I think, three or four cascading stack poles. Because it was at the end of the game and everyone's in super close. Um, and one person got a, a critical hit and they exploded and killed another mech, which then exploded and then killed another mech, which then exploded. Yeah, it was like three or four. It was amazing. Oh, the Loki's moving in. Which he really doesn't need to do, but I appreciate him moving in closer for the enemy to shoot them easier. <laughs> Absolutely. So Vendret, a Vendret asks, um, how does an Irby skid 22 hexes? And I'll tell you this, back when these these Irbys were being built for speed, so we were seeing supercharger and masked, max engine, one small mm -hmm. pulse laser Irbys who could just get up and move. And then we had the jumper, but he's wondering where how much of the course they can cut in half. <laughs> yes. And it was all pavement, so like you had to emphasize like a strong pilot because every other move you made was a pivot. Yeah, if you go straight, you're fine. If you're running straight, you gotta check. If you turn while running, that's a check, and then every right. then you go in and that the new direction is a figure check. Eight. So there there's like on your on the biggest turn, you'd be making four plus checks and and stacking amounts of right. difficulty. Right. Like, the dice are totally winning. Roll a five. Roll an eight. Roll a nine. If you're looking at order. battle value currently, team one is winning with 83% of their battle value with one light damage mech, one moderate damage mech, one heavy damage mech, and one crippled mech. The team two is with one heavy mech, one destroyed mech, and then two un unharmed mech, really. I mean, not really unharmed. Just not really considered crippled. Oh, and one of them... Oh, yeah, he fled. Sweet. So currently, it's up anyone's game still. If he gets another headshot on anybody, they're dead. Mm -hmm. So Maze asked, who's winning? I think uh, the next immediate response is the most applicable is the dice. And we are. We all are. We're all winning. We're here. <laughs> That's right. Who wants a corn dog? Corn dog. Free corn dog. Get your voucher. We have 1,700 kilograms of corn dog available, so they're mandatory. Also, this is the rations we're going to be getting through the winter with, so make sure to save some of your corn dogs. It's the whole event was a sham just to get right. free corn dogs. 
That's right. We, we got to sponsor by Bubba J. <laughs> there definitely isn't a conflict of interest that the mayor is the one we hired to provide the corn dogs. It's definitely not a conflict of interest. Don't worry about it. Don't read the paperwork. One point seven tons of corn dog. You're yep. And then there's uh, like five tons of other stuff in there. So I'm assuming it's just like ketchup and it's mustard. Condiments, napkins. Yeah. Napkins are very important. It's probably where we stored all the actual ejection seats before we replaced the uh, the parachutes with the napkin. I'll take two corn dogs, please. Thank you. You're you're more than welcome to your corn dogs. Hey, at night owl, give her that corn dog. <laughs> now, if you have a... It, the corn dogs are going to save Van Zandt from a very terrible winter. That's what I'm saying. Oh man, that Loki turning, turning to blast the Arctic Fox. Arctic Fox is definitely going to take some hits. It's, it's, the, it's one of the less, least, like, oh, the Hunchback and it's pretty not damaged. The Arctic Fox, this one right here, the one that's uh, still alive, has been getting some really good hits. Nothing blown off yet, but he's stripping armor like crazy. There we go. Hunchback. Oh, bad luck across the board. Needs nine tits, none except a small laser. Arctic Fox lands one of the light PPC center torso. The Loki lands both the large pulses on the Arctic Fox, destroying the searchlight. That's that's means doom for everybody. The Jenner lands the SRM six upon the Hunchback, destroying a lot of armor, but the Hunchback is holding. Charger misses its four small pulse small pulse lasers, and the Arctic Fox does not fall over. So not too brutal of a round, but their damage numbers are up. A lot of armor is missing suddenly. Not the light. Don't worry about it. Hey, Gabe, right? It's the Spunk Haas. I, I was wondering if you were, if that was the, are you, is it, did you rename yourself from BPL Spunky to the Spunk Haas? <laughs> what the hell? Or is it a complete different Spunky than, oh shit. Um, a leg kick from the Jenner in the back of the Hunchback. No knock over, but it does do good damage. Free seven damage. I'll take it on a leg. And should be good to go when you hit ready. Hey, examples. Yeah, sorry. I'm just messaging uh, Crow and my opponents for the next game that we're probably going to run over time on this first match. What do you mean? It's only, we have five hours. I know, but the I mean, match is scheduled for 11.15. Oh, I'm, just, I'm just letting oh. them know it's going to be a little later. Oh, 11.15 what time? Our time. It was 11.15? It's two hours. Two hours, 15 minutes. We've been only been playing for an hour. Yeah. All right, and next well, year's no, no, stream. Oh, next year's stream also goes to Texas team. They're pulling out the late initiatives, but stop asking questions, but no pers what was that by whack air? Was it what percentage by weight are corn dogs or sot? Um the mayor refuses to answer any composition for the corn dogs, I think, right, Mr. Mayor? Are you alive or are you dead, Mayor? Is the mayor with us? He's still in the room. Did we fail the mayor? 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 I think Mad Ducks had to step away. He did message me saying that he had random family members show up for his birthday this week. So he might be, he might have had to get up and entertain for a bit. He wasn't going to stay the whole time anyways. Um, I'm hoping to either get Tex or Crow in here for, uh, for Exemplus's game. As uh, if, if Mad Ducks is unable to, you know, attend. Because I know that he had some work to do today. Or he had some previous, previous obligations. Corn dogs is made of 100% pure corn dog product. See? This guy, this Delta person, they know. They know. Corn dog made of corn and dog. We we can't Tex, say, don't that say the quiet legally. part out loud. Don't say the quiet part out loud, Tex. Yeah, Can we no, cut we that? Can we cut that part? Yeah, we're, we're not live, are we? No, we're totally not live. It says just unstable. So maybe it's oh, oh we're just breaking up. <laughs> Frozen uh, hot hunts. Do you lose? Green must get on that, please. Oh shit! Hey, night owl with throwing a corn dog. <laughs> Enjoy your free corn dog, Delta, and and some slightly getting better. Look, I got a, got a mech digs down here. I don't know when that got added. Nah, I shall sit and judge. As we is your a, right, Grimos. We have another acolyte in the Pit Viper cult. Ooh, Gabby Ray with a free corn dog. 
from Vectron. Thank you for the continued support, bud. Worland's considering moving. Well, now it's time for the truck. A good solid move from the corn dog truck. Corn dog truck is gonna go to the net to the prone charger and offer them a corn dog. Whoa! Mace Hughes gifting the uh Mayor Emperor. I gifted some as well. Thank you, Mace, for your insane support. Really too good to us, bud. All of you are. I, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Why are you here? As Mad Ducks would say if he was here. Free corn Thursday is not Thursday. It's Saturday now. Hats move. Wonder what hat will move. They've all moved. I hope the charger... I don't think the charger will be able to get within punching range. Just uh, had Streamlabs post a link to the auxiliary Discord. If you're not a member, come join us. The Black Pants Legion auxiliary server awaits you, as does madness. And future games and events. We currently have a Van Zant Free State Militia co uh, cosplay contest going on, including the Mega Mech Tournament, which is current is closed. In the future, there will be more smaller versions or we might just run brackets until we get to the final couple and then stream those so people could continue to play and enjoy mega mech and play games but also have like a payoff at the end so if you can climb your way up you'll end up back in wpl 76. yeah wacker that's fine you can post the the bracketing sure bam 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 corn dogs must flow join the ox don't ask why crazy andy he's crazy and Mercury Alpha again. Mercury Alpha, I don't think has missed a day. Forty-four thousand goob donated to. He really, they want this art. Make sure if you got any goob the out there, throw up to two thousand goob uh, every stream you see if you have it. There How is, much goob do we? Eat? Sorry, go ahead. What's up? No, you go ahead. I interrupted. Well, what you were asking a question about goob, I can answer that. Um, where how much goob is riding on the result? Oh right, the prediction. Let's yeah. see. We have 180,000 goob betting on Texan wow. hat. We have 91,000 goob going towards Whirlin and Wasp. And it's a 2 to 1.5 to 2 to almost a 2 to 3 odds. So there's a lot of goob to be made by voting for that for people who put their money behind uh, Whirlin and Wasp. I mean, it's anyone's game at this point. The, and the biggest are... vote, the biggest person voting against. Uh, oh, let me speed this up. Oh, the Arctic Vox is up. He's up. He finally got unknocked out. It's not pointed in a great direction, but he's mobile. He's mobile. The Master Mayhem with the biggest vote for Whirlin and Wasp with fifty thousand goob, and the biggest per and AK Lone Wolf put a hundred thousand goob on Texan Hat. Way to go, guys! Wow, they're looking to win big. Someone comp them a napkin. Someone give them their corn dog if they don't want it. Extra, we can't afford to give that extra We have plenty of napkins. We have about three, five or six tons of napkins and lots of We are legally required to tell you that you can't eat the napkins. But what you do with the napkins after we give them to you is none of our business. They might, if you put, if you actually hold your corn dog with a napkin, if the napkin gets kind of the same flavor and the condiments, it's not bad. It's like a nutty napkin. Have you guys ever heard of a nutty napkin? You ever heard of Nutty Napkin? That sounds like... The... No, it's in the Legion. I'll send you the, it's the sticker. The it's a Nutty sticker Napkin. The you never saw this? Oh my god, that sounds awful. No, I am unaware Look, of the Nutty Napkin. This is a stick it, sticker in the Legion. Apparently, oh, no. apparently there are there are countries oh. that believe that covering a, like kind of a napkin or a light piece of like obviously hopefully digestible cloth or napkin like material in honey yep. and nuts yep. is a is a delicacy that's one thing that that could look like yep no oh that does that's that's zenith being zenith i don't know about what it's supposed to look like <laughs> <laughs> guys it, i'm eating not hey, not seeing, i'm not showing it no i can see want, it unless no because hey, I've, I've got that i've got that picture of my face right up above that you guys will recall that crow ate part of the napkin on the mre stream you know what Crow is a champ. He can, he can eat most things people can't because of that iron stomach. Uh, waiting Eight for ups. Whirlin to decide this shot. Or not Eight ups on uh, the Arctic Fox's uh, light PPCs. That's pretty good. 
continuing to hammer that Loki. Pulses and light PPCs. Yeah, that Loki's that Loki's Tex coming in close. Tex could still fire. He's got all his weapons and an arm remaining, so he could fire at least half of those small pulse. He's short range. That's good. Hello. Let's see. Who's that? Who's what? Coming into the channel. I have no idea. It might have been Mad Duck, so did he leave and come back? No, he's still here. I didn't hear it because I'm in streamer mode, so it kind of blocks it out. Um, but they shouldn't be joining here randomly unless they have something to say. And yes, we will be doing post-battle post, uh, post -battle interviews after after. We have to make sure we get to the next game. But it's coming. It's getting to that point where everything's about to start exploding. So I'm not. I'm sure it won't true. last a few more or more than 15 rounds. Yes, we still do have about just under an hour left to play this game. And we, I did clear up the whole day. Um, I did knock Ralphie out, unfortunately. Yeah, take that, Ralphie. Um, Ralphie and the Mech Warrior crew are out for the day. And if we need to, like if the games do go on persistently too long, then I did warn Super Chief, Whacker, and Storm that that they might get bumped. Uh, for the day, but they're aware of it, so all good. Yes, we and our uh... them extra corn dogs. Hey! hey! Oh, it's about time for your speech. Give it to him. Oh, uh... <clears throat> quack. You heard it here, folks. Well this is the all mayor right. that you wanted, and the mayor we're happy to have. The the world we're now. Oh, a headshot coming off the hunchback towards the charger. Oh, the Ooh. Arctic Fox explodes! Large pulse laser hits the oh. left leg, t transfers to the left torso area, enough to blow off the Arctic Fox. We have an end of destruction. Arctic Fox is down, so it got up and died immediately. <laughs> he died a warrior's death. He died a warrior's death. And the SRM-6s pave the back, destroying even more armor on the back of that hunchback. The hunchback lands a medium laser at it and does pop the head, but everything else misses. All right, we got a mech down. Now we got physicals. Oh, oh yeah, everyone's in punch. Oh, you don't want the Loki punch in the charger, though. That'd be bad. But the charger punch in the hunchback? Now that is... Craziness. And he's on... He has TSM, so if he didn't... Ooh, brother. If, he, if he didn't shoot both of his weapons... If he didn't shoot his weapons, he's going to get two his, punches his, at 16 damage His weapons are all in the torso, baby. He's good to go. Oh, my God. Oh... We're gonna see some he's, gonna, he's punching back though. That hunchback's not going down without a fight. Oh my god, this is what Tex has been waiting for. Incoming physical kicks. Whirling kicks him in the leg. The, oh, he misses one, but he swings another one, hits him in the left arm, break, critting the lower and upper arm. Ah, not the best of punches, but 16 damage in one. Imagine if he hit that second one. Oh man. Oh no, he did. He hit him both. It just took his armor he's down to zero from the, he punched him right in the chest. Kalima. He fisted him thoroughly. He fisted. He called him Mr. Fistode. It'd be funny if we like had an Artemis 4. I mean, uh, an Arrow 4 that we just nicknamed the chair. <laughs> He's bringing in the chair. Oh, Scrumble's wow. Punch, 5,000. Scrumble punch. Thank you, Tex, for supporting your own community. <laughs> it's, always, <laughs> it's always weird when I see Tex throw money because I'm like, Tex, that's your money. <laughs> like, wait a minute. Wait a second. That's like me resubbing the, like to this channel with WBPL76. I do. It's like uh, Whirlin and Wasp one initiative this time. Yeah, they're this. No, no, no. Is higher better or is lower better? Uh, higher is better. So they, uh, we he tied with you. They tied with me. Then they re-rolled for follow up and then lost and then won against me. But I still I still think that Hat and Tex get the last. I get to go first. We I lost everything. So yeah, it's going to be Whirlin once again. Whirlin, or the team clan Grumpy Viking wins initiative for the third round in a row, really turning the the, uh, the the game around quite a bit. Punches are coming out. Don't think the Hunchback's going to be moving faster than the Charger anytime soon. I don't know what he plans on doing with the Charger that's currently no gyro and prone. We got Canium saying, breaking news, Tex punches Hunchback. <laughs> And we got, of course, we're going scrambles. Brick with the gun versus brick with mobile. <laughs> Hunchback still is in prime fighting condition. No CT armor, but all of his weapons and very little heat. 
Yeah, like, the, you know, when you bring classic mechs, like you were saying earlier, there's nothing to really hurt. It's either they're alive or they're dead, and they just keep on punching until they're dead. When you got, like, you get crit in the targeting computer, you got your crazy special ammos. Which model, Hunchback? Is a 4H. 4 Hotel, the AC-10 version. Yep, and he also had a trebuchet earlier. Yes. But unfortunately, it didn't make it. It's stack pulled. Yeah, it actually it hurt a little bit of uh, his ally, but that luckily it was far enough away. If that thing was next to anybody, that would have been terrible. <laughs> I have a question for Professor Checkers. Um, so he's not here right now, but if he's reading that, he can answer you in probably in text or chat. If he can hear the text over the sea shanties that he's playing. Fair. I wonder if tech. Oh, wait, he only has two jump jets. I swear, if he had three, he could jump. No, because he wouldn't be able to punch from level two. Hopefully, he goes to the right instead of up. Boop the snoot. Boop the snoot. Cause it's kind of come kind of disco back with lasers. It's a AC ten hunchback. I just want to point out this is actually like so far closer than you thought it would be. Well, I knew it was going to be tough, but. Uh... This well, is... I will tell you this. Whirlin really knows how to play. I've seen it, him play multiple yes, times. Yes, he does. And Wasp, I, I know that he used to play a lot with the discount Dan's Tukiad, and he was mm -hmm. great at that game too. So I know these their hat and text aren't like super veteran big battle tech players. They do for fun when we do, or when he's in person. So, like, we have oh. our OGs of the stuff with people who are just really into the lore and making cool videos. <laughs> oh, I, I can confirm. Whirlin, uh, Whirlin and Night Owl specifically have played a lot of Battletech. Oh, and uh, Whirlin actually is one of our volunteer um, tournament officials who will be hosting uh, a few of the games coming up this week. So, big shout out to him and my other uh, official Zero Paladin. That's right. And then Diggs and I are going to be hosting games as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be hosting this one and the following one, which will be Exemplars' game. And then we will continue to run the games off stream. For a while till we get closer to the finals and then next week we should have some semi-finals ready next week so or the week? my vision and this is still up for approval as i'm vision. you know but my vision my ground vision, bro, uh, vision um, into this. is to do the the semi-finals on a saturday and then do the finals the following like the next day on sunday because it would be just two matches for the semis and then one match for the grand final completely doable I assumed. Luckily, everyone WPS76 knows that the event things kind of pop in. Sometimes they really enjoy. Tomorrow is my match. We plan to be the King of the Ring tag team champions. Oh my god. Are you just going to just DFA the whole game around? Get some leg armor? Oh I mean, shit. It's that's doable. a good plan. It is a good plan. Dude, I, I was in a 15 ton Oz Scout. And I DFA'd a 95 ton mech off the side of the map because it tried to hide its back away from me. Hell yeah. And I was like, oh, no, no, you're not. And I drop kicked him. It blew off my leg completely, but he was off the map and counted as a loss. So I was like, yeah, I win. <laughs> hey, that was amazing. Can't... I love this game. You're absolutely right about it being a storytelling engine. It's, it's just so fun to talk about. It's not just like, yeah, so I pulled out my sword and I hit the guy for 30 damage. Like, we don't care about the damage. What exploded? <laughs> Yeah, oh like, wow none of the oh arctic fox launches the art lippc barrage at the loki hits everything besides one the hunchback unloads everything on the charger hitting everything except one medium laser armor still holding no crits loki lands a large pulse laser on arctic fox destroying his right arm the jenner misses uh unfortunately with his arm sixes and fours and the charger misses with his pulses but now now it's punchy physical time. time now it's punchy time <laughs> Oh my oh, god. Oh yeah, brother. If he lands both. Oh, all he has to do is graze the head with a single punch. He has a one in six chance per swing that he hits to break the head spot. And it's over! Oh he punched it right through the center torso, ripping out the hunchback's reactor and crushing in his hands before punching his left arm to knock over the hunchback. The hunchback is down. The charger got kicked, but doesn't care. Stands there victorious on the punch. Hunchback Thanks. is down. Dicks, you just described a mech, Kalima. 
Kalima. Yeah, no. he, got, he got Kali Mod for he sure. Got, totally got Kali Mod. Hell yeah, let's go. He's in here with me, brother. Okay, now it's it's essentially a two v one. Both of Whirlin's mechs have been destroyed, and all of the all of the current mechs are not actually. There's not a single lost mech. There's one disabled mech on Team Viking, uh, Grumpy Viking. But there's one Arctic. There's two Arctic Fox left. And these are going to be the harder ones to kill because they are move boys. Or is there only one? There, wait, where's the other Arctic Fox? The one died? To the north. Oh, okay. No, there's one up top. Punched his fucking reactor out and crushed it. That's right. He said, he's remember, Sarna called the Charger a bad mech. <laughs> Don't let your memes be dreams, he folks. He disagrees. Way to go, Tex. Yeah, he's here to prove a point. Mm -hmm. How much does a charger punch for with TSM active? 16 a hit. Jeez. Because it's 8 damage base because of his size, and then it doubles. Arctic Fox is getting out of town due to a lost um, initiative roll. Yep, 16 damage, so torso, 6 hits engine, explodes. Man, if it would have stack pulled, it would be really funny. But hey, here we are, winning. Are the Arctic Fox is making a runaway, attempting to use its superior range, but he doesn't understand that the Loki also has better range than the light PPCs. But he can hide from the Loki and poke out for a little bit, but he only has a couple extra turns before this he's going to be able to really get away with it. I mean, if he can wear them down long enough, there's always a chance a quick light mech could win, but I don't think he's going to be able to do enough damage in the 15 turn, or in the 15 turn limit. He's... I don't know. That and Arctic Fox is though. pretty good about landing shots. Another 5,000 bits from Tex. You're stuck in here with me, brother. Embrace the kingdom of madness. Followed by another gift sub from the Night Owl. Thank you for giving one the Canium BS1 or our buddy Hat. Make sure. Oh, by the way, Canium BS1 is now a streaming. Uh, if you want to give Canium BS1 a follow, he has begun streaming not only Rogue Trader with Crow and Garmin but also been streaming his Space Station 14, like, big ship station build on there. And he's been very engaging. So if give that a shot, he just posted it in chat. If you're if you're interested in, well, I need, why wouldn't you be interested? Hot dogs, let's go. And remember, every pilot that has died so far has died surrounded by mustard and ketchup. Yeah, like the second that head pops, it's just you don't even see blood because there's so much it's mustard and ketchup. Yeah, it just shoots out like at the it's top. It's built like in a... censorship, you know, because this well, is a family show. It's real mustard, but the ketchup does have an asterisk next to it. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to grow tomatoes in Van Zandt. A lot of water. Fight or die. <laughs> I, Tex, I would be taking those artist foxes and running from the uh, chargers so. same oh dragon tier leather but he also started streaming some leather working on his if you're re into really chill streams with some really like lo-fi type music and people working on leather stuff it's very chill can we get a link oh yeah just uh click on dragon tier leather's uh name and you go to his channel or you can just post it i'm not gonna block anyone you messed up there you go thank you there it is. He was makers and craft. He was making. Oh, hi, Willie. My cat just showed up to wonder why I haven't got in my chair in a while. He's my little health buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. All right. Hats up, turn to fire. There's only one target, so it should be running pretty fast. There's just going to be a lot of, a lot of shooty bang bang. Shooty, shooty bang bang. Shooty, shooty bang bang. Hi. Ho. Oh. May is with the 1800 contribution towards the April Art Goob Drive. Thank you. It seems like the Hat and Tex voters are going to be making out. AK is going to be walking away with at least 150k. See, I can't. I can't count out Wasp. I think he's. Oh, okay. You, you can count out Wasp <laughs> as he gets a large pulse laser to the left torso, destroying it, and XL engine exploding out. The winners of the first game of the go. international uh, first annual Van Sand Mech Fight in Kordov Extravaganza goes to Team Grumpy Bear 
hat and text walking away with all mechs not destroyed only one of them slightly or one of them pretty damaged congratulations we're gonna congratulations. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have Tex and hat come up here and we'll we'll get a like we'll have the mayor give them a post-game interview because or, or exemplus can i will be right back all right hey guys come up to the studio yep, yep. all right they're on their way oh yeah all right the today's winners of the first round of the tournament hat and Tex with team grumpy viking what do you guys got to say? The secret to violence is violence. And when you have that little voice in your head that says, Stop punching children, you have to tell it to shut up and grab a steel chair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you heard it here. All right. Oh. Whirling, y'all put up one hell of a fight. Yes. Yo, you, you did. Your That's hunchback just would fight. not go down. Yeah, we do have some tactical questions, but yeah, it was a pretty good match. Yeah, that was that was a punch back and forth here and there a little bit. Uh, we'll be will be a slight retrofit before their next match, just because it was a slight mess up with some inner sphere um, lasers that got put on there. But they were disabled; they were never used. You, like the whole match, I made sure. And uh, yeah, so give us a minute. We're gonna swap. Uh, well, actually, I'll go back to this. And uh, you guys can feel free. I mean, if you want to, like, question or talk or anything, go ahead. Yeah, I do have one question. If you guys can hear me. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. 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 How did you guys start twice as far into the map as it's supposed to allow you to? That was a hiccup on Hat's turn, which is why he ran back after the first match to get to kind of this. Oh, that's why so, he went back. So he backed yeah. up because he realized that he spawned uh, two hexes too far out. So he spent one of his turns moving his mech, not using it back behind the line. And we right. and I, I think that was a fine agreement since he couldn't get his mech in position right away. Yeah, but for in the some future, reason, I got to make sure the teams launch on the same side. Yeah, also, for some strange reason, it kept on having me target woods with my LRMs instead of the mechs. Okay, so if there is a bug in this version of Mega Mech where if you have timers turned on, it will not let you skip firing. So you have to just Well, no, I had one? targeted a mech. Oh. And it redirected fire. Hmm. I've, I've never seen that before. It's, we I know, it's weird. I will really say I saw that because I was we wondering if you were yeah, laying I was mines too. or something. I, was like, I saw that. That we, I saw that. When yeah, you were we, we commented on it because it was like, yeah, and I he's, posted I, is he... an explanation in chat. Oh, I'm sorry. I was. I'm. We're really bad at everything here. <laughs> but but anyway, right. no, I had targeted the charger and then it redirected after I fired. All right. So we're gonna take a brief. Um, break as we set up the next match and get people all set up. Thank you, Hat and Tex, for uh, coming out and playing. Whirlin and Wasp, which I don't see him in here, but I'm, um, I, I didn't grab him. I can't drag him. I'm not a mod. But uh, congratulations to everybody, and I'm sorry for your knockout. I was scared of Whirlin. I honestly thought he was gonna win. I saw him play a King of the Hill and just dominate people, and I was scared that it was gonna happen again. <laughs> But uh, all right, we will be back in a little bit. And uh, all right, see you guys later. Thank yes, you, everybody. Thank you guys for coming out. Well, I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna stay live. I'm just gonna throw on a couple of commercials if I could find them. I gotta find that. The, I gotta do the goob one, the art goob one. One sec.
All right, listen up, audience, because things are about to get a little bit weird. We have a se All right, listen up, audience, because things are about to get a little bit weird. We have assembled on this end a All right, listen up, audience, because things are about to get a little bit weird. We have assembled on this end a mighty band of goobers, which is to say part of that word is capitalized and all of it has meaning. But if you want to see some shenanigans, then oh, buddy, it's time for some Twitch economics? I don't fucking know. There's no money. There's only goob. <gasps> And in the dark future, oh, you can trade Goob for all kinds of things, which is why we want it. Give us your numbers and we will give you, in turn, entertainment with some kind of weird musical number. I haven't read the entirety of the sheet that's not going to stop me. Click now. Make number big. Enhance bar. Loading. This is just fine. It's going to run the whole month of April, and that's all the detail I'm going to give you. Other than this, make number go up. It's worth it. End commercial! All right, listen up, audience, because things are about to get a little bit weird. We have assembled on this end a mighty band of goobers, which is to say part of that word is capitalized and all of it has meaning. But if you want to see some shenanigans, then oh, buddy, it's time for some Twitch economics? I don't fucking know. There's no money. There's only goob. <gasps> and in the dark future, oh, you can trade goob for all kinds of things, which is why we want it. Give us your numbers and we will give you, in turn, entertainment with some kind of weird musical number. I haven't read the entirety of the sheet that's not going to stop me. Click now. Make number big. Enhance bar. Loading. This is just fine. It's gonna run the whole month of April, and that's all the detail I'm going to give you. Other than this, make number go up. It's worth it. End commercial! All right, listen up, audience, because things are about to get a little bit weird. We have assembled on this end a mighty band of goobers, which is to say part of We're just uh, waiting for the teams together. We have uh, one team in. We're just waiting for Crow to jump in and load up his map, and then we should be. Uh, we should be so, thank you for your
Titan, if you're still out there, and AK, if you know your headset fix, feel free to jump in commentary. I think you two would be great. Here. If you're listening, of course. Hey, Aiden, thank you. Kick that out of the way. Let's put up sounds back up so everyone can hear us. Yeah, I could barely hear you when you were saying that. Yeah, um, I, I had my stuff all turned down because I was trying to like let the thing go. But anyways, we're we're about to load in. We're putting on some camos and such. Uh, the players seem to be in place. We'll be going into round two. Um, let me. I'm gonna pull up the the match round list. Two. Round two. Fight. Exactly. Uh, let's see. Coming up here, we have the Pit Warriors versus Board of Blake. This seems personal. This, yes, this guy's named does. Board of Blake. This feels like an attack on Exemplus's whole being, <laughs> which is a really cool setup. I like to see like grudge matches. We're already starting with a grudge match here, boys. Crow just right sees now. a set north. We have the Pit Warriors, Exemplus and Crowwind, famed scions of the Word of Blake, blessed be his name, versus Board of Blake, Zurin and Blue Mage. I, I don't even know it. where to go with this. Like that, that's, that's we we can go over here. Let me uh, pull up the shots the are screen. shots are being fired, and I don't just mean in mechs. Now it's just being weird. It's not the screen. Come on. There it is. That was weird. Let's fix this. We're very professional. As you can see, it's very, very professional. We we know what we're doing. Honest. Zealots v. Heretics. Who will win? That is a good question. And actually, that prompts me to see if we can get set up another prediction. Oh, for sure. We have to set that up. And I got to update the text on the screen and everything. Uh, let me write these down. Um, everyone's getting set up. They are all in place. All right. Oh, we got a mate's huge to grant elephant. Gee, gee, you got some pants or possibly underwear. Thank you. I'm going to upgrade the text to something. Uh, the past. All right, and let's put this up for, you know what? Five minutes sounds reasonable. What do you think? Yeah, give them a good five minutes. I, I think the two is a bit slow on my side. That was on me. Yeah, it, it happens. It happens. All right, and starting prediction. Ladies and gentlemen, begin placing your guesswork. Give unto us your goob. And then put that goob towards the art drive. Hey, Crispy, how's it going, man? By the way, check out, yeah. check out this sweet ass emote Crispy did. It was originally for Teletanker, but it looks really good as a fire starter on WPL 76. Hey, hey. Hell of a work. I if you ever need some art done, he's one of the many great artists we have, including Aiden's wife, Lady Red. She is currently working, by the way, uh, on the piece for this goob drive. Oh my that god, we're right. getting it done. She sees, she's scared. She's already seen it 28% with what? How many days? Yeah. 26 days. Oh my god. Oh. Dude, I told I told her. I was like, do you really I mean if we half it it'll be make sure to happen, but if we get it closer, it might be a push. And she's like, I want it to happen for sure. <laughs> oh, it's so, happening. So for I was sure. like, all right, I did the half the amount on average of everyone and face how many streams a month. And then the fact that everyone can donate multiple times a day. And then I did that times thirty, and then I divided it by half, and then I added like two million just to kind of like get it scary. But apparently I I'm not great at it. What's up, so examples? We Oh. I'm just wondering if we're ready to go. I'm waiting for everyone to ready up. I keep seeing people customize, so it keeps unready. We're going to kick in. Ready so up. I got to say, 
we have gone up 3% on this 6 million goob drive in just the span of the last hour and a half. All right. I'm hearing I'm hearing Lady Red off to the side just going, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and you're all she making is, impossible, people. She is currently struggling with chairs, of all things. Chairs! They are, yes, yeah. the chairs. It's not the stage. It's not the performers. It's the chairs that are giving her the most trouble. All right. We Which are... should give a little bit of a hint on what to expect from your and harder And we food. are starting. I oh. got the fucking hot dog. I thought, oh, you know what? Oh, don't worry about it. This is a <laughs> hell of a rocky map and lots oh. of water. This is going to be fun for a few of the jumpers for sure. Starting off initiative is Exemplus winning, or Team 2 Exemplus and Crow are going to be placing first and deploying first. I'm looking at this. We've got a... Pretty By the way, to address uh, just one thing I want to say before, to address oh. like a, a elephant in the room, first game had did forget to set his starting location, so we did start four and six out from the edge. But that was the reason why he immediately turned his mechs around to go behind the line, kind of like going, you know, like when you're playing like one rim basketball, you have to go past the line to come back to shoot. You can't just shoot from whatever. So... And everyone agreed that was fine. So, it, I mean, it was a little bit iffy in the beginning, but Hat was communicative. Linux, like is fine with it. So teams are accepting that. No redos. Uh, it's so always nice to see good sportsmanship with our teams. All right. We have, by the way, one of them is bringing a vehicular grenade launcher. What? It's, it's just a Swift Wind Scout car. As one of because you are allowed to bring a vehicle and a mech, and you could have like a one BV vehicle if you want to make a really 3k powerful mech. So he decided to go with a scout car with the grenade launcher as one of his for about 60 or 59 BV. Oh, I just realized look at the gunnery and driving on that. We have a grenade launcher with gunnery eight. why <laughs> i don't, I don't know. know well all i know is they also have a sniper quote-unquote how much ammunition is in that swift wind let's find out um it seems like they have two smoke grenades it's a smoke grenade that's see, these guys are playing advanced tactics. Switch South Car is gonna be gassing up the field, blocking line of snipes. He also his uh his ally has a is sitting on a main Gucci <laughs> Gunach light <laughs> support tank the with a gosh. light goss rifle and machine gun, so it's definitely gonna be pinging from a distance. While a Tempest is dropping his his he's claiming it's the best um obvious the best uh hunchback ever. It is the custom variant, the 4T, and it drops a couple weapons and spops them to ER mediums, but adds a targeting computer and lots of double heat sinks. So he runs neutral and he can move pretty well for a hunchback. Oh, so we the other hunchback is just a back. straight AC20 double medium laser hunchback with upgraded uh, double heat sinks and the such. Ah, a classic upgrade to Old Faithful. Oh no, I screwed up worse. Forgot to what make myself do. do. I'm just trying to figure out what that scout car is going to do after it has expended its smonk. Um, it'll probably just try to crash really fast. <laughs> Call this thing Griglack because it's going to charge. Oh, we have word from Lady Red. Chairs complete. Congratulations. Oh, my God. Crow did it. <laughs> it's always something. Welcome to WPL76. Hey, Kavathy, with your 2,000 gold to do donations. Thank you. Thank you. Did you do that too well? What did I do? What did I do too well? That that wasn't Diggs, that was me. Yeah, I was about to say, like, I don't do anything well. That was Aiden. He does things well. Oh, don't go. Don't be like that, don't, Diggs. Don't, don't, don't. I can think of no better person to be a station manager than the bear here. 
so on our initial push, we have on deployment, it looks like focus on the high ground, which has a lot less tree cover, but definitely enough variation in elevation to provide some uh, interesting line of sight opportunities. Exemplus DC'd. Uh-oh. No, he, maybe he came back? We're checking. No, he's all human. He's back. The game bugged out. Yeah, that happens. If it does, if the players bug out, they can rejoin. How many BB per side? So each, so it's two vehicles or two units per person, but there are four people on a team, or there's two people on a team. So it's a full lance on each side. Each person gets three KBV for their two mechs. No sharing, no giving over. Hey, Ginger, how you doing? <laughs> the answer to the question of what is the scout car going to do without ammo is many things, according to Maze Hughes. I mean, maybe it'll start doing sick donut burnouts over around the edge of the pond here. Or maybe it's going to just be hunchback bait. We will have to find out. Caesar. Maybe you'll get a corn dog. Maybe we'll get a corn dog. You never know. Maybe but it's Crow's you know. turn. Crow fielding a single singular black crow or crow win prime. It's based off the Nova. So it's a it's a hell of a jumpy boy. Improved jump jets, I see. Improved jump jets. It has narrow low profile, you know, combat computer. Just it is, and it has its targeting computer. It has its it has a ton of medium pulse lasers. It is just a beast of a mech. For how a, many medium pulse lasers? Oh, just six. six medium, that's that's a respectable amount of medium pulse lasers. They're clan spec, correct? They are clan spec. That is a clan. Oh, mech. then that is a uh, that is a alarming amount of medium pulse laser. Um, so we got a question for you in chat. Hey, Aiden, when is your match scheduled for from Killian? Killian? I am currently slated, along hey, with DJ. my partner, to play on, I think it's 2 p.m. Eastern U.S. time tomorrow. The last minute men are going to ride. Pulse lasers are great, Lizard. Pulse lasers are a good time. The only question I have is, are those heat sinks enough to keep him from melting himself? The Nova is infamous for its uh, flagrant disregard for anything resembling safety factor. So what is this mech that Zurin has just marched up? I'm trying to identify it from above. Is that a Flashman? It might be. I'm. You're Let's the one see. at the helm, my friend. Sorry, I was what? I was in DMs. Poor sports. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Because whoever, whatever mech Zurin is running, it is now trying to get dangerously close to that brace of medium pulse lasers. Ginger Bitters, I, I cannot disagree with you. Probably my favorite concept for a head-mounted weapon is putting a binary laser on a Cyclops to give it the full baleful gaze of Sauron. And Look at the chair. Crow is in the bushes. Oh, oh, okay. Oh no. Shh. Be fair, we very quiet. You can't see him, he's in the bushes. Stealth. Stealth. You know, I think that his his old crew did come with stealth armor, but it never really, he didn't really have long range on it. And if you're not sitting at medium or long range, there's really no point in just blasting off. Yeah. 
All I know is this is probably going to be the stealthiest disco rave mankind has All ever right. seen. All right. First round concludes with a couple shoots. The crow shoots two mediums, but does not connect. But the smoke grenade does automatically hit wherever it was shooting. The black, the crow medium pulse lasers shoot out from crow and hit one medium pulse. So one of the, Ooh. all the mediums that shot, one medium pulse hit the charger in the right leg, which is a good spot to start shooting. Round one is a go. Sitting at two heat on the charger. I guess he's running fast or jumping hard. Is and this charger see it. TSM? We, let's double check. Yes, it is. Oh boy. It's running two anti-missile systems. Those are gonna run seven heat a turn if they're turned on. So he's he's gonna be cooking this whole time. Holy wow. Do they generate heat though if no missiles are coming they're, at if you? If they are on and they're they're the laser versions, they are cost they are generating heat if they're turned on. Ooh. So that is that is a way to keep your heat up for sure. Checking I saw the chair, Night Owl. I'm a, I was actually I'm gonna pull it in in a second. Hit him with the chair. So we have Macho Man the Charger who's getting himself primed and ready to throw those 16 damage fisticuffs. We've got Light Gauss Sniper, the Smonk Car, and here come the Hunchbacks making their way up the hill to join the fray. Yeah, he's rocking. A man of war gargoyle clan mech rocking a targeting computer as well improved jump jets medium and heavy small lasers that thing is going to be running so hot Whoa. heavy three small heats. lasers are not bad three heats for six damage that's pretty huge it <laughs> is heck yeah i can, no wonder yeah he wanted to run a good pilot so he can land some of this shot. i think that's that might be a winning mech right there this is going to be a hell of a fight for him considering the mobility is all in crow but having a sniper and a... I don't actually know if smoke drift is enabled. I think that might be an advanced rule. So I think it might... Is it smoke? Oh, there is light smoke. Sweet. So it does work. It is giving some cover to the back line. That is very interesting. Never really nice. considered. When you've got mechs that need to get up close and personal, a good smoke screen is not a bad call. At least as... Or not at least, but especially if you're up against anybody that's got much longer range firepower. Well, for longer but range firepower or like better coverage, like they're not using the hills for cover because they still want to see. It's a good yep. alternative to instead of like trying to rely on forest because it's like mobile. He straight up copyright violation. No. <laughs> is that is that a charger named Nacho Man Randall Savage? <laughs> it's the no. Macho Man it says Randy Macho Savage. Man don't know how, where is yeah randy savage yeah it's it's off brand though it we uh, rest in peace randy it is Your the elbow, macho elbow mech. and people in the sky imagine an elbow drop all the way from heaven i was gonna say that is the toppest of top ropes right there he's coming in like a goddamn hero. <laughs> like a meteor so now i have to query We've got heavy small lasers and a couple medium pulse versus a medium pulse boat that's very sneakily in the bushes. But the gargoyle is going to have the tonnage advantage. What is the play here from the lighter, more maneuverable Nova? Also, is it really a good idea to get close when we've got two hunchbacks right there itching to go? They're They're backing up a bit. They're keeping their reins. They're trying to stay away from the medium, you know, areas of death. <laughs> there's, there's kind of just a no-go zone. All right, let's... Oh, my God. There is a 79% se bet on Crow and Exemplus will win against Zern and Blue Mage. The... With 106k on Zern and Blue Mage and 391,000 on Crow and Exemplus. We have an underdog Ether. situation here. Ether is the biggest backer of the underdog with uh, 50,000 goob going towards Zern and Blue Mage. And the biggest voter on Crow and Exemplus is AK Lone Wolf again, about to get even more money. He betted 100k last time. Now he's betting 150k this time. Oh, he's right up on him. Crow jumps oh, in. Oh. You know what? They both jumped. 
and they both have a ton of pips, it'll be really hard for them to hit. Not the this pulses, maybe, true. but I think the heavy lasers will be very lucky to hit. This may be true, but Crow is in a bit of a dangerous situation here because all it takes is for Polyhedris, praise he of the many sides, to decide it is time for his disfavor to fall upon oh, Crow in no. Prime. The elbow drop. So Actually, he's not so he's not DFAing. Oh no, but Macho Man is on the high ground. That means Crow is looking at the possibility of kicks to the head. Oh, totally. Did you know that Macho Man has zero heat sinks turned on? Oh no. He has set his active heat sinks to zero. So he everything <laughs> oh. he's gaining is on, and he, he we have to kick that on next turn if he gains any heat this turn. Yeah, in he Mega is. Mech, you can actually choose Ooh. to in, to turn off heat sinks as kind of a uh, as a gamble to like increase heat in the only situation you'd want heat, and that's when you're trying to get your TSM off. But let's say you lose your left arm, and that's half of your heat damage. So what he does is he just turns off half his heat sinks, alpha strikes with his shots, or oh, he has a hatchet too. Ever seen a hatchet charger with TSM oh, kicked on? No. He can't hatchet him from this high up, but he can kick him in the head, like you said. Sweet. Actually, can I don't think he hatchets can go on the kick or the punch table if I remember right. Well, so the, he the hatchet does, does not hit the head table now. I thought you could uh, voluntarily take a penalty to your swing in order to choose which table you're at. Because if you can, then I think he should be able to try and go full bore lumberjack on Crow's head. We're going to see. I mean, all the Tempest is unloading. Needs nines up on Tempest. All I know is that that jump, Go that jump jet better save him. Otherwise, he is in for a world of hurt. Oh, he's targeting the sniper tank. What a shot. The tank. So tanks are kind of iffy. They're very strong. They have a lot of armor on less sides than a lot of like the main tanks. And so it can take a lot of damage, but any kind of crit through or heat can immediately disable them completely. Like an engine hit could stop their turret from moving. Any what's kind even of... worse, what's even worse is that with tanks, you don't even have to score a crit to do motive damage, which can turn a tank from a fast mover into just a glorified pillbox. And it looks like that might be what just happened. I'm seeing one ER medium laser from the party back popping Macho Man in the CT, but nothing significantly lost there. Not a lot of good shots though. No, we got a we got a center torso hit on the charger. Ooh, the the hawk. He oh, pants from over damage, damage, major damage. The main tank is destroyed immediately by the crow's medium laser shots was able to critical enough of the inside stuff to take it out. The tank is gone. The man of war does land a lot of hits. The medium pulse hits the jump jets, double heat sink engine. That's Ooh. gonna really hurt his mobility and, and his heat. Double heat sink, that's two down and an engine hit, that's three up, ugh. Five uh, up, I thought. Oh, it's, oh yeah, five up for engine hit, ah, oh, for heat, Ow, yeah, that's gonna, it was a bold play. I mean, he went in there, he took out a tank, which is, you know, not It's a good opener. But at that, with a mech that is already very, very heavy on the heat load, that hurts. Yeah, he'll be cooking. He'll be cooking for sure. Right in the <laughs> lost tech. Yeah, oh yeah, right in the lost tech. <laughs> Ooh, right in the lost tech. Yeah, that, that's like, I, if I was ever in a universe where I was a mech, oh my God. He gets kicked in the head and it does take out oh. Crow immediately. Round oh. two down with Crow's only mech. Oh, you oh, hate this the, shit. The, the fight's give and take. There's condiments everywhere. Oh, trade-off is not great. <laughs> now it's oh, up to boy. the Tempest or our, our very own Exemplus to do what he can. It is up to Blake's Chosen with the Hunchback Dynamic oh Duo to try and pull God. this back. Ooh, I don't care what great house you're from, that's 
God, that hurts. You know, I'll bet you he was feeling pretty thrilled riding the sky and riding the lightning there, but he ain't feeling anything at all now, Diggs. Wacker, Crow is, in fact, legally distinct from the ketchup. He's now been reduced to about the consistency of relish. That was, is your internet speed pretty decent? You have a pretty decent computer. You stream pretty well. Who, what, me? Yeah, you. Uh, typically. Internet I'm, speed's solid. I, I may... Would you be super opposed or against possibly hosting some of the Mega Mech matches? We have just uh, a lot of teams, and if we can kind of fit... Schedule availability pending? I would be flattered to do so. <laughs> Except this is like, this is my worst nightmare right now. <laughs> oh man i mean don't discount exemplus's uh duo here because the hunchback as already established is a resilient and effective mech what can that can that scout car ram i don't see why it couldn't it's what's the tonnage on that thing though scout car is pretty small But then again, if it's got enough momentum going, charge damage is based on not just the tonnage, but the distance traveled. So if it does a sick burnout and a wide donut, it might be able to do something significant because that thing is, that thing's going for the kneecaps. There is no doubt about it. If it goes for a ram attack, it is hitting the legs. Indeed. I'm seeing oh. the comments. I'm seeing Zern the comments from the stands. Oh no. We already saw how that went out with the with Crow. I'm looking at the comments from the stands here, Diggs. And there is a lot of applause going to Crow for going out like a champion. And of course the obligatory from Thor Bjorn. The obligatory praise Zorg. Indeed, Supercharger does not fail. Charger is running up. You want a way to immediately tip the scales back in Exemplus' favor. Watch a crit fail of the Supercharger. That is correct, Gabe Ray. Vehicles can, in fact, charge, and because they're only height one, when they charge a mech, they're trying to take their shins out. It looks Let's like we've got... Sh Everything's kind like of in this zone. <laughs> yeah. Well, like I said earlier, it looks like deployment's favoring the high ground, because if you look at it, the low ground has got a lot of woods, but with the line of sight being what they are, hiding out in the woods would not do you many favors. Looks like he's going for all in on the macho man. I don't blame him after what happened to Crow. from Crow himself. Dude, he not only got me in the head, but he did it on stream in a tournament. That is badass. Yeah, that is really like, cool. You, like, that's a, that's it, a clip. <laughs> if you gotta go out, go out big and on primetime TV. You got it. Die in a way that'll make Duncan Fisher scream your praise. I mean, the battle value is a little bit heavy in Team 2's favor, for sure. I completely get it. Um... Be just because that Stormcrow was a lot of mech, it was actually the full 3k value for it, for his team, so I don't think the tank was in that incredible amount. Actually, I can go back and take a look. I do believe the tank, I mean, just looking at it, one light gauss and not a lot of armor. Yeah, I don't think it was too crazy. Uh, Alright, the exemplus fi uh, the, I shot 4T fires, the mediums, hits 
right torso, center torso, left arm. Armor remains. The web fire for the hunchback. AC-20 hits the left leg of the charger. Good shot. Medium laser misses. Another medium laser hit the left leg again. It's really far focusing that left leg. Um, the man of war hits uh, the hunchback with medium pulse laser crits on the right torso. Smoke kind no of effect. blows out. No effect. No effect on the center torso with the second small laser hit crit. And no one falls over. So he's getting beat up pretty bad. But it's it's not quite out for the count yet. The hunchback, as you said, is a favorable. Very tough. I got, but the charger is up in heat now, and his heat sinks are back on. <laughs> I got to say, though, if you want to prevent a recurrence of the head smash, the legs are the right way to go about it. So we've got physicals coming up. If I, uh, I wonder what Zurin is going to go for, if anything. Oh, nope, doesn't look like anything. I take it back. All right, moving on. Team one, Blue and Zurin win the initiative, unfortunately. This is going to put Tempest in a really bad position. He now has to somehow outrun or outmaneuver Zurin or Macho's man's speedy mech or jumpy mech. And I guess a scout car could be kind of, I guess if you put it in the right place, it could be a little bit of a uh, speed bump. Can't jump if you've got no legs. That is true. No hits the searchlight. Uh, well, let's see. We can double check while they do their moves. How is the searchlights doing? Uh, armor hit. Checking, checking. Searchlight fairly, destroyed on Exemplus's hunchback. A fairly cautious move on Cyrus to move his way back behind the partial cover of the hill. But oh no, we've got Macho Man oh, coming no, up. Oh no, he's coming in for the stomp again, boys. Oh lord, he <laughs> will, coming. Will Macho Man get two stompy headshots on our boys and knocking our Exemplus and Crow out of the game for rounds one? Find out a little bit. <laughs> Find out. In the next episode. Oh. <laughs> No! Next time on Dragon Ball. Wait a minute. So Tempest has moved into position. He is dangerously close, but fishing for that tender, juicy charger butt meat. We saw how that played out for the one charger last match, where it got hunchbacked right in the tailpipe and was knocked out of the fight. But is it going to be enough to save Cyrus before it is go time to drop the elbow from the top of the hill? That's right, Stuka. Juicy Charger butt meets. Supercharger is still... He's pushing it. He's not letting this... He, he's going to keep checking that Supercharger. He's taking those risks. I mean, go big or go home at this juncture. We also have Zurin coming up to try and take Tempest from behind. It's a lot of firepower to just let your rear arc accept. I don't know how this is going to play out. Okay, we're getting some shooting from the behind on the Macho Man from the Tempest. Zurin behind that one. Although the, the you know good facing on all the mechs so it won't be a complete out they might even get lucky on the macho man and hurt him enough to you know maybe cause a bit of damage but it's going to be a tough run for sure their best hope right now is either a lucky knockdown or maybe if tempest can drill him through the spine and do some significant damage all right, Otherwise, here it is. They're in a bad every place. medium laser hits on that macho man armors oh one miss the smaller ones miss charger unloads with the er mediums but misses two. the fire the ac20 hits the charger and creates an internal structure on his left leg do that left leg is getting destroyed uh medium Ooh, laser no effects no effects no effects uh the man of war lands medium pulse hits a double heat sink in the left torso and no one falls down yeah he's starting to he's really starting to like get like running out of armor on that hunchback but they're doing plenty of damage back, especially landing those AC-20 hits. Well, in the defense of Tempest, a double heat sink is not that big a sacrifice for the auto cannon equipped hunchback. Especially with the upgraded doubles, he's probably going to be okay on that one. 
Oh no! Physical uh -oh. punch from the punch bag. Oh, he kill. Oh, he punches the 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 vehicle. I thought he took out something else. The the vehicle gets punched by the left arm of Exemplus and explodes. Physical test for Ooh. the charger do hit for thirty two damage on the oh. right torso, knocking out his AC twenty. Oh. Physical attacks for the scout. Oh, charging. They hit him. Attacker takes five. And then he, ex he explodes as well. So he did charge him. That's pretty funny. <laughs> and the, the hunchback makes deep three deep. different rolls to stay standing. And he does. Whoo, dang. He's, he's good on his feet. That AC-20 hits most of his battle value on that thing. It's, it's, that is going to be pain. I, I, I was going to say it. It's not looking good for Team Blake. They've managed to kill the vehicles, but the, the beep beep viper. on the jeep knocking around. Yeah, that pit fight, like, without an AC-20, that thing's a little medium laser, like, two medium lasers, you have a small laser, and whatever fist it can have, but it can't have an it can't have an arm with a left, or it has no right arm, so it's fine. Right torso. It yep. can still kick, you know, it could, it could do stuff. Let's move on. <laughs> he can still do stuff, but right now, his only real viable options are Exemplus in wins. Us. Except one's in, in uh, initiative, at least. <laughs> Stuck a no crunchy the hunchy. No crunch. <laughs> Not the boom box! So it is now two mechs on two mechs. The tonnage advantage in favor of the Macho Man and Zurin. We are on what? Turn round five? Yep, this is coming into round five. Ooh, oh, we've got a Zuren suggestion a from the stands. Jump. What's up? We Grab got a suggestion block. from the stands. Grab the blown off arm and beat somebody with it. You can. Girders, trees, and arms are, and legs are all viable melee weapons if you have a hand to pick them up. And the puns from Stuka with arm yourself. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So this is going to be a hell of a punching match. Rock'em, sock'em, robots. You know, the four, I've seen the 4T pull off some pretty incredible comebacks in the past, even with like barely any armor make left. So I, I feel like it's not quite over, but it's definitely looking pretty hurt. So the biggest problem he's going to be facing is that without a pilot special ability, you need two hands to use a club. So Cyrus cannot pick up his own arm to beat somebody with. <laughs> the oh, I just oh. realized that, that that charger is an 8-0. So he's never meaning to shoot in the first place except to gain heat. And he's definitely going to hit with the hatchet on this turn. This might. This is always the chance of just True. chopping the Tempest a, a whole section off. Right you are, Diggs. But look at Cyrus' position. He is now in prime position for a kick attack, and if he is lucky, he could take Macho Mech's head clean off. I've seen two stomps in the same round. I've actually watched a DFA hit the head three times, resulting in an instant kill. And was... if Macho Mech goes down, that very well might give Exemplus the break he needs to turn this fight around. Yeah, if he is able to take out any of those two, it becomes a 2v1 or just a 1v1. He has a much better chance cur than current. Each of his mechs are pretty balanced across them both, so if he loses one half, his effectiveness is gone. But these guys both put most of their points in single mechs and made small units. So, so Exemplus speaking up about your story about the triple head hit DFA. Yep, that was on me. Yeah, it was, it was Dance Man <laughs> and uh, I think it was Hal? But it was Dance Man and one other person we were playing Mega Man with, just practicing some mechs, and he just Goomba stomped him for the memes, and he hit all three. Yeah, half. And he uh, he bumped him three times, all the same. He rolled that six like, every time. Okay, Man of War unleashes the medium pulses and just blam, blam, blams. It transfers around, but doesn't take him out on that one. Hunchback lands the mediums all over. End section destroyed on left leg. The Charger has no leg. Oh! The Charger is effectively non-combat, non-grata, as if he can get away from him before the hatchet lands. Oh, he fell prone. He can't swing the hatchet. Exemplus just saved himself. Punch. 
He can still, he can still punch. He can still, punch. He can still try and take the hunchback's leg out. And without a leg, he automatically falls over. This is this is a hell of a development. One of the one of the the big punchy mech is down. <laughs> you got no he leg. Didn't, he didn't get a man. chance to swing. You can't swing when you're knocked prone. So he saved yeah. himself a, a TSM hatchet hit. Oh my god, what a turnaround. That was what gonna do completely. The 4T remains intact and not turned into butter by a hatchet. <laughs> now all <laughs> Kevs has to do is focus on Zurin as the main target and he could pull this win out. It also means that Macho Man didn't risk a head hit from a kick, but I think I would have rather taken those odds. Unfortunately, Exemplus does lose the next initiative, so he will he will Ooh. be at the mercy of wherever he. I mean, he does. I don't think the the Charger with a zero pilot could you hop pretty fast yeah. with a TSM or with a like supercharger. So the thing to keep in mind is, unless the leg was amputated by rolling boxcars on a crit, he can still stand up potentially. And if he stands up, that means he's back in action, throwing hands. So with Cyrus still within potential melee range, there's the possibility that Macho Man might get his revenge. Now, granted, trying to stand up with a leg destroyed is a pretty stiff proposition. Yeah, but he has but arms with... and a zero pilot, so I'm I thinking he can say, stand up for sure. <laughs> with with proper with a pilot at zero, there's there's a possibility here. Don't discount the macho mech yet. Oh, I am on the edge of my seat now after that turn of yeah, events. This is, this I is gotta see huge. how this goes. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm at the edge of my seat just stunned. Like, I I totally foresaw the armor of the Macho Man holding up. I don't even know. Can we, I'm gonna see if he's targeting. No, that was just pure luck unless he swapped his targeting computer out. Because with a targeting computer, you can take a plus three to hit and aim for locations that are not the head. So if he was truly just trying to blow out one of the legs this whole time because every most of every shot landed on the charger has been his leg, including an AC-20 like and all the lasers. It, It's a hell of a play because even if that guy can hop and move, he can't hop up hills and he can't move. He can't move them more than one hop like you don't get more speed with one leg. True. So but I have hopped a single leg mech over a hill before to shoot missiles at the end, but then I ran out of turns. Well, the other thing to keep in mind is, does the Macho Mech have jump jets? Does not. He does not. Ooh. Because jump jets don't care if your leg's destroyed or not. Granted, it's a pilot check when you land, but there's still the possibility. You know what Macho Mech is going to need after all this is said and done? Uh, Slim Jim? Or a corn dog. He's gonna need a he's gonna need a lot of corn dogs for this boo boo. He's also gonna need the very best in personal injury lawyers, and that would be our sponsor, Griglack and Sons, Barbarians at Law. For all your personal injury needs, remember the Griglack promise. Your money or Griglack charge. That's right. Who has the corn dog anymore? I wanna fucking corn dog. Oh man. That? Akami? No, that's pretty nice. That's really good corn dog. I've never heard of that person, but I will have to check them out. Giant corn dog peg leg. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, that would be really cool. Have like a just a random, you know, salvage mech and one of your legs is just a big corn dog. <laughs> Only if it's a pirate mech, because then you could be Captain Corn Dog oh, of the periphery. Great. Look at those pants. Scourge of the Ketchup Rift. Yar. I could have sworn I put. The chair somewhere. I'm not seeing it. The Macho Mech was Owl's not allowed chair. to stand? Oh no. Oh no. If he didn't stand, that means he fell down and took more damage. That's not great. Well, we'll be able to tell that next turn. Oh wow, he's he they're just gonna try to finish Oh, he got behind him. I guess he had no other choice because of initiative, but Gonna try to finish off the Macho Man instead of wasting it. Hopefully Cyrus does take a couple shots at Zeron, because that's the threat now. Oh, Zurin is now behind Tempest, and remember, Tempest already took back shots and took some crit damage from them. Oh, even his even his Man of War has uh, smoke grenades. That's pretty smart. 
This guy yeah. plays Mega Mech. Or this guy plays Battle Tank. So what is the rear armor of Tempest looking like right now? Um, so he has no left. His center is a bit hurt, and his 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 right is fine. But it, no it's, left it's, it's, armor. it's gonna hurt just because he keeps getting and that guy has a crazy jump for such a big man. That's what improved jump jets will do for you. Yeah, just make you go as far as you can run. Hi, Willie. Welcome back. Kai Harper, how goes the fight? Let's give you a bit of a dramatic recap. So we had an initial rush from the sneakiest little stealth crow, the sneakiest disco dance you will ever see hiding in the bushes. But then came the macho mech because crow took a bold jump forward to try and get into laser range, greasing the sniper tank. But oh. macho mech... Oh, oh, hang on. Tempest unloads into the Macho Man, critting his EMC suit, Guardian. Uh, but not much more than that. The other Charger tries to shoot a medium laser, but misses, and he's 11s up. Hunchback for his other, or the other Hunchback hits him with one small ER laser. And the Man of War unloads into the back of the Hunchback, critting the center torso, but not much more than that. And he's still fine. Let's see how he does an initiative in this next round. Well, after well, the physicals, here they after come. After the physicals. The Man of War does not have TSM, but he does have a kick, and he does crit out the left lower leg, which is going to knock him prone. That's not great. That's, oh, not, that's his good man. Down. But he is fa he's facing. Oh, yeah. Uh, and unfortunately, Temp Exemplus loses another round of initiative. That's going to oh. really hurt his chances now. Oh. So to go back to the recap for you, Kai, upon his bold jump forward, the Macho Mech comes surging over the hill and took Crow's only mech out with a devastating blow to the head, decapitating him in an eruption of ketchup and mustard. Since then, we have now been watching these two mechs, uh, these two hunchbacks of Exemplus, Desperately trying to stave off the Macho Man and Zurin. Macho Man lost a leg and is down, which has prevented him from being able to crush one of the Hunchbacks with a hatchet attack. But the AC-20 boombox has been destroyed. So now it is anybody's guess how this is going to play out. With Macho Mech prone, Tempest has been knocked down with the Man of War stood over top of him. Well, the Tempest is only has a hurt foot. The rest of the leg is still armored and fine, so he's just going to have a bit of a check. I feel like he's still very much in as long as he can get up, but unfortunately he did lose... I mean, technically lost initiative. But he can he still swap initiative. his next around. Oh, wait, so Zern goes. Yeah, he has to... Unless, unless they swap next unit... Zern might not be in a greatest position to deal with the Tempest. This is true, Hunchback, but also... let's go! Hunchback, let's go! Tempest has to spend at least 2 MP to stand up, so if he is not too particularly fast, he might not be able to maneuver too well. Zurin probably is in a good position just to stand tight. Oh! Oh no! Oh no, with those jump jets! Yeah, I about to say, that guy, he can move. Oh, go! Oh, I mean, no technically, Cyrus. Cy Cyrus unfortunately can't turn around and stomp, but it would have been really funny. But yeah, this is Cyrus is going to be stuck shooting, checking. Mm -hmm. He has light of sight's not blocked. Oh man! Oh, the Macho Man is up. He's up. He can't, he's not moving, but he's up. Now it's the fire turn. I'm going to be right back. I need to get some more water. All right, sounds good, sounds good. I'm going to be a little bit behind because I'm watching this on stream just like the rest of you guys, but I'll provide commentary as best as I can. We've got Tempest aiming for Zurin, hoping desperately to try and protect his teammate before he gets gunned down. Hi Hippocampus, yeah, shit is getting real. Come on, what are you guys gonna do? Zurin with the back shots on Cyrus, unsurprising. And it looks like Cyrus is going to continue trying to punch down on Macho Man. 
And Macho Man returning fire. Tempest opening fire, and oh, oh no, God, he misses with worst. everything. You know, oh, damn, he needed tens. Oh, he jumped so far. Yeah, he misses yep. everything. The gargoyle opens up on the back of the other hunchback and just crits out the hand, upper arm, lower arm, shoulder. Armor is destroyed all over the place. He's still up. I mean, there's a there's a couple pieces missing. But well, he's that's up. Why they, that's why they call those things Timex mechs, my good digs. Timex mechs, because they'll take a licking and keep on ticking. See how next initiative goes. Roll team exemplus wins this one. No, oh, they need that lucky break, especially now that Macho Mech is back up on his feet. One wrong position, and you're back in danger range of that hatchet. Indeed, and he's missing his right arm, his left arm, his right torso, most of his center torso armor, and his head's been dinged. His left leg is half dead, but <laughs> still has two medium lasers and this ER small laser on one. UNC Samurai, call 1-800-MECH-ALERT before you fall and you can't get up. And the 4P, or the 4T, still has, is still a full fighter, even though he's missing most of his left leg and his right leg. And no back armor, so. Tempest needs to start putting his back towards either water or the edge, of, not the edge of the map, they know how to ram. Oh, that would be a dangerous play. In the vein of Samurai's mech alert, when your teammate eats a hatchet and you need mechs now. <laughs> Why not, Night Owl? Why not? I didn't why. It's the 4T. It is a custom. It, it, uh, it removes I, some things, but then adds a targeting computer. And I think, yeah, up engine. I have an ejector and I need out now. <laughs> I don't think Scobell Mechworks is going to help you with that, Samurai. Oh, Zurin taking oh, the shit. high ground. Yep. He jumps up to get an overview. It's over, Exemplus. I have the Exemplus high ground. Exemplus decides not to move his 4T. His 4T. Well, he's got the benefits of partial cover, and by not moving, he's going to be in a better position to shoot. Yeah, he's already in short range, so it'd be kind of pointless to move. And unfortunately, since he's up two levels from him, he does not get the partial cover bonus. Oh, oh no. But yeah, I don't think Zurin's aiming to shoot at Tempest Ford. I think he's wanting to look finish shopping Cyrus. Cyrus is in bad shape. It's not a bad call. After I get injured mech battle, Larry J. Park got me $5 million. You know, he did. You know, Griglock could have got you a couple hundred thousand C bills, but he didn't charge. Nope. Is the high ground really that important? It is if you're trying to get over like obstacles like people hiding in woods or behind cliffs. If you have if you have line of sight angle, you can still shoot them. And if you're on the same if they're behind stuff, it sucks. So being high, it also makes you a target. You don't get any bonuses for being up there, but you do get to shoot most things. If you ask <laughs> Crow if he high ground matters, his face got shown high ground can definitely matter. <laughs> high ground makes a difference, alright. Especially in fisticuffs. Or lightsaber battles near lava. Yeah, no, correct, correct. Sadly, at 3080, we're not far enough in the timeline to have anything approximating a lightsaber. Because, oh boy, if we could have vibroblades, that would just turn this into a nasty little slap fight. Gabe Ray, if your tank charges from high ground, launched into a mech's torso, you have to scream, Excelsior, when you do it. Like, 
It's mandatory at this point. All right, into the next round of firing. The mediums just eat the back out of the tour. It is enough to take him out. The small heavy laser explodes the AC-20 ammo that was left in him since he didn't jump. It blacks out the pilot, continues to cascade, and takes out from or his pilot and ejects to save himself. Uh, the Hunchback Tempest unloads and hits everything across the Man of War. Or, no, that was the other way. Yeah, across the Man of War. Wow, he hit everything on him. Um, I mean, that's the benefit of standing still. Yeah, standing still really got a lot of hits. Unfortunately, did not do any crits or break any of the armor off because he's just been so jumpy and hard to hit. The hunchback it looks like it knocked does, him prone, though. Yeah, the, the, well, that's what I was to say. The other hunchback, the Tor, that went down this round did get a crit on his center torso, compact gyro, and engine. And then he fell Ooh. over. Oh, the, the charger also fell over and hurt his hand. And blacks out, so the the mo so the charger is actually out for the moment. No, oh, Macho Mech is down. So it looks like the only mech still on its feet after that is Tempest, because Zurin got knocked over, even if he still has armor intact, and Macho Mech's unconscious. All right. But the other, so now it's essentially a one-on-one -on -one with the guy sleeping in the back. I don't know. I don't think that Tempest is going to be able to deal with someone jumping behind his back. Especially since he just lost uh, initiative. Oh, gonna, he's going to have no. to be real picky about where he goes with that with that hunchback. If he puts his back anywhere too good, he might he's not going to be able to shoot much. Although if he goes to the edge of the map, he could push him off of it. So it's like, eh. Will Macho wake up in time? Stay tuned to find out. I don't know, Silicon. It might be that this fight's over before the Macho Man has the chance to come to. It all depends on just how well Tempest can hold on. Mm -hmm. We've got Tempest backing towards the hill, away from Zurin. The good news is Zurin cannot jump jet this turn because he's prone and has to stand up first. Okay, here's a... Uh... The distance on the man of war can jump eight hexes, and he decides not to approach. He stays in the tree line after jumping up. Oh, he just walks up. Remember, he can't jump jet from prone. He has to stand up. He won't be able to do a jump attack until next turn. And Light Assign is not blocked, meaning that they both get a free turn to start blasting at each other. Macho Man will remain down for the rest of this turn. Run for your life! Who's the announcer? Isn't Mr. I'm sorry. That, if you guys don't know, this is Aiden Desir. Or just Hi. Aiden. He streams every Thursday with Kai Harper doing playing some pit people. Sometimes he joins Al on Wednesday for like Monster Hunter and stuff. He's also streamed a few fill in games on Mondays before Tex. Great community, like he has a great community, great energy, puts on a hell of a show. I highly recommend that you guys check out his streams if you see him up. Diggs, you're making me blush, dude. Hey, man, I'm just proud of all of us. You're making me blush. Even though this is very WPL76 quality, I really like our streamers. I think they're great. We are professional streamers. Also, a hell of a hell diver coming in from Ether. He's also weak to bricks to the head. Maybe. I mean, yeah, I mean, who isn't? Yeah, bricks to the head. Bricks I to the head doing the thing. And let him, and... Oh, yeah, right. Sorry. It's not really Aiden you're watching for. It's the pup dates. He has a oh, yes. cute pup. We have an email Saris, on the pup. Saris, Saris. and the pu weekly pup dates are probably the biggest highlight of my streams. Okay, the Hunchback unloads ER medium lasers, hits two of the medium lasers at range, takes off almost all the armor in the left arm and hurts the left torso a little bit, but that was it. Man of War shoots back with his medium pulses, hits the center torso, and then also the right arm. A eh, fair exchange. Nothing but armor damage, though, Nothing so they're, hol they're holding on. We'll However, Zurin is, 
Zurin's on his feet now, which means the jump jet's in play, and the Macho Mech has woken up. Luckily, for example, he did win initiative this turn, so he will be running after both the Macho Man and the Zurin move. I don't know if the Macho Mech can do much, though, after taking the gyro hit as well as the leg loss. I, I don't see him standing up. The real question is, where is Zurin going to jump to? So, Kai, much cute is an understatement. There's actually a bit of a pup date for today, if you guys want to hear it. Ceres is intact. She still has all of her, her bits because one day we're hoping to have little baby beagles. Yeah. But that means that she is having a bit of a maternal instinct kicking in, because she's had a couple heats by this point. And last night, she was making sad beagle noises and gathering all of her toys so that she could nest, because Aww. she had to look over her little surrogate plush babies. Oh, that pupper. It was the cutest thing once we figured out that she wasn't actually, you know, ill or in distress. She made a pile of toys on her throne on the beanbag chair and is just curled up surrounded by them. And she had to bring her fishy to bed because she needed one of her little stuffed babies with her. All right, so this turn... Tempest gets really close to the Macho Man. In fact, I think that the Macho Man is able to not able to get up. I appreciate your enthusiasm, Blue. <laughs> so, so the Macho, the Macho Man, Man is shooting side towards the Tempest. The Man of War unleashes medium pulses at him and destroys the left leg on the Tempest. That might be ripped for the Tempest. Hunchback unloads back at the Man of War and only hits two of them because of the pip jump. Insane. Tempest does fall over, hurts his shoulder and see our small laser. It does not get knocked out, but is prone. It oh, is... and he he eats a pilot hit from that as well, mm -hmm. from the fall damage. Ooh. And With no, no, no leg. melee is allowed because everyone's prone. Yep, no legs now. That's that's not great. I'm pretty sure this I, I think blue, I, I think um Zerl and Blue are gonna pull this one through. I think you're right, because now all it really takes is for Zurin to march up and execution style just put all those lasers into Tempest. <laughs> the, the the Macho Man s just scrapes himself facing north. Ooh. They think he fell over again while trying to, but he did aim the right direction. So if he... Uh, not that he would ever hit with eights, but he's aiming... So so he tried to stand up and fell back down. Is that what I'm getting from this? I, I assume that if he was able to rotate his heading, there was a movement attempt. Because I don't think you can crawl around prone in mechs. So you can't crawl, but I'm pretty confident you can change facing. Crawling is a, uh, a tack ops rule. I don't know if that's enabled in this. But either way, oh. And Zurin's coming up for the kill. Yo, baby. Yeah, he's, he's, uh, I'm surprised he went that side because that gives him a couple more. I think he's not scared. I think he's walking in to show something. He, he's got something to prove at this point. He's got armor. He's got guns. He has absolutely no fear, even of the hunchback. Uh, so the charger does turn, falls over, takes out his anti missile system, and blacks out. Oh. Hunchback attempts to get up, falls again and hurts himself some more, facing another direction. Oh, So he's taken two hits total at this point. And he's, fa he's still facing a way he can probably get his torso to shoot as long as he has an arm, but he's not going to be able to shoot anything in his arms. I don't think he has anything in his arm. Uh, it... No, he's all right torso and left arm, right arm is small lasers. Yeah, so wait, if he lost, he's not, yeah, he could still shoot almost everything in him. He'll just be at a nice. really, really bad chance because shooting yeah. prone is like plus three. 
it's a disadvantage, but he's still got something. And Man of War you never know. opens up his midsection. His right arm is gone. His shoulder is gone. The hunchback's left arm is gone, but he's not dead. Hunchback shoots back up, needing tens. Hits center torso, right arm, and center torso again. Nothing but armor, not even close. At this point, it is just the desperate flailing of a mech that is on its way out. It's going to take a miracle. I'm calling it right now. It's going to take a miracle, a lucky head hit or something similar. Well, the miracle's not looking good considering that, that he just lost initiative again, and it's his turn to move. I do not... There, there, there would need to be the dice roll of the god. To... I mean, un unless Blessed Blake himself deigns fit to come down and gift Exemplus with one last huzzah. <laughs> knowing, knowing actually the Blakest tendencies. He has no arms. He's face down. Knowing the Blakest tendencies of Tempest Operator. The best way this could possibly end would that be goes. if Zurin manages to core out Tempest and then the stack pole takes the other two with it. He's DFAing! Zurin oh, has decided no. to DFA in, in lieu of shooting. The blatant disrespect, the He's audacity. He's in with the elbow drop. He wants it from the top rope, ladies and gentlemen. That is a bold move. And it is over. The physical hits from a top rope damage all the way down on the Tempest to the point it destroys his center torso on crit and center gyro. Unfortunately, it does not stack pull. Oh, and he does fall shame. over. But that is the conclusion of round two of the Mega Mech tournament game with the winners being Blue and Zurin of Board of Blake, which... They proved that they were born of break because <laughs> because the word of Blake is totally exemplus's thing, and that means the outcome here is the underdogs take it. Twenty one percent of our votes and goob were on Zurin and Blue Mage. There's gonna be a lot of very happy goobers coming up. Enjoy your thank payout. You for, uh, thank you for honoring me with a phenomenal death. It was a wonderful death. Just DFing him out. Oh, man. You and Crow died in the most spectacular of fashion. I have to applaud you. My heart is just racing. I was just Ether, like, I would win the initiative, and then I'd lose it. I'm like, oh, shit. Ether just walked away with... 500,000. 496,000, goob. Well, actually, that's, I think well that's done. for everybody. Hey, Crow! Black Man's lead. Hello. I'm so sorry, Crow. That That is just... That was just... You know what's funny? Is the first time I ever played Mega Mech was with Greg, you know, a Frenchie boy. He brought me in when he was doing his Mega Mech things and said, Oh yeah, come in, I'll show you how to play and I'll give you some Lost Tech. And I get in the Lost Tech Mech, his guy gets up and kicks the Lost Tech Mech in the head and explodes. And I was like... He, Welcome you, to Bad I literally tech. was like, you told me to go there. It's like, yeah, but I didn't expect you to kick get kicked in the head. <laughs> oh, so, it was a fun match. I had a good time. <laughs> you did great. You took out that tank in no time flat. I, I was actually, I was, man, it would have been really cool to see what you could have done if you didn't get headshot. But the winner does ah, go to Blue time. and Zern, Board of Blake. Yes, Board of Blake will now go on to fight the our one seated match, uh, Firefalk, who is Fire Rod friendly and Tarnfalk um, in round two. Heck, that no, they are a hell of a team as well, so I can't wait to see that. But this comes to the conclusion of our stream here on WBPL 76 for the day. Thank you all for coming out, and I hope to see you next week for another couple rounds of Mega Mech Tournament in the semifinals. Possibly, if all goes well, the finals on the following Sunday. So it might be yeah. a full action pack weekend next weekend. That so, was fun. Thanks for coming out. Thank yeah, everyone yeah, here for... I didn't thank you so much for stepping in. I couldn't get... I mean, I had a couple people offer, but you were just the first one in. I was like, you know, I love your <laughs> initiative. Well, thank you for having me. And, and of if course, I may... A final word nice. out. Give goob. Give the goob. And have a good rest of your day, gentlemen. Yeah, thanks for coming out, y'all. Take care.